Hey yo, this is UK Apache man, the original nutter. You don't know. Live and direct upon the Shizia show. Nani ni wohoi, this is the Shizia show. Nani ni wohoi, lad, I don't know him glow. Nani ni wohoi, UK Apache upon the show. Who ya he, who ya he? Me a de nutter, original. Mad, 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 mad. Nutter, original. Mad, 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 Street life is the only life that we know. Get your life, don't need the get so we run and grow. No, no, no. All right, we're back. Another show, another special. Man, if this was an Everest of guests, I think we hit the peak, baby. We hit the peak. We are at the top of Everest in regards to legendary status, goat behaviour, bro. Respect. I don't think it gets any bigger, really. <laughs> when you really deep it, like, uh, look, I've been trying to get this brother for day zero. D BC, yeah? <laughs> it's very hard to get, but we've done it. We have done it, ladies and gentlemen. The goat. The original nutter, yeah? UK Apache, brother. Bro, how are you, bro? I'm good, my brother. Bro, it's a big honour, you know. I, I don't say it lightly, yeah? Because, yeah. like, you don't really do interviews and we will get into all of that. So, personally, thank you. No. You've traped across London, yeah? From <laughs> South London yep. all the way over to East. Yep. Man, really appreciate it, bro. No. Honestly. Thank you, man. Thank you for inviting me. Man. No, no, no. It means a lot, bro. And I genuinely mean that, bro. So let's get into it. Obviously, the original nutter is you, bro. Yeah, the man, the Come myth, on. the legend, bro. The absolute legend. The soundtrack to most people's childhood, bro. That that tune is just, it's iconic. But let's talk about you, bro. Yeah. Born and raised where? Okay, so we're gonna start with some do some bit of blessing, you know. Bismillahi wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah amma bad. Rabbi shlah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul ugadata min lisani yafkahu kauli. Obviously, you have to give thanks, you know, uh, <clears throat> to the most high. Um, yeah, I was born in South London. Yeah. yeah. What are we talking? 80s, 70s? Uh, give away. <laughs> no, roughly. 60, 60, 68. Oh, swear. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. And your parents are from where? Well, my parents are a mixed combination. Right. My father was, well, he still is alive, still alive. Uh, he's Iraqi Arab. Right. And my mum, may Allah bless her soul, uh, she passed away in 2009. She was born in South Africa, Asian. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah, so, so it's a mad mix. What do you class your like self as? If someone goes, where are you uh, from? Because you know we used to get asked that question back in the day, but where, yeah. where are you from, where are you from? It's very different. If someone said that to you, what would you say? I just say I'm from the earth. <laughs> I just say I'm from the earth because it's complicated, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, usually you're meant to fo follow your dad's, you know. Yeah. Uh, and he's from where, sorry? He's from Iraq. Right, 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 Arabic, right. right. Arabic, yeah. Arabic Iraq, because yeah. you've got the... You got different. Uh, you got the Arabs in Iraq, and you've got the um, oh, I can't remember the the other the other nationalities and things. Right. Uh, yes. So he's Arabic Iraqi. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but obviously uh, I'm born in the UK. Yeah. So obviously, I mean, I just you know, I'm United Nations. Come on, <laughs> come on. Um, you know, it's it's just a whole whole pot, isn't it? So mix, so much mixtures. Were there. you in South London from the start? I was born in South London, yes. Yeah. Uh, because my mum, my mum uh, came over. From I'm sorry to hear that. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. About like East Boy. Oh, don't start that madness. Yeah, don't start it. Don't start because you don't know anything about South London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's W, bro. It's W. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't start wars, man. Yeah, no, it's true. I'm joking. It was a joke. Yeah, go on. But we're not into this postcode, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, but basically um. My my mum came over from South Africa due to the uh, political situation in South Africa, and we're going toward that as well. How yeah. my family's connected to all that, because uh, my grandmother was Nelson Mandela's first secretary, and all this kind of thing. And we're gonna, Boy, we're, we're gonna get hold into on, <laughs> right? Okay, there's a lot to talk about. Wow. And uh, my father came from Iraq to to study here. Right. And they met here, uh, got married here, and then uh, I was born here, mm -hmm. and then straight away I was taken to Iraq uh, as a baby. Right. I stayed there for a few years, but my mum... Why was that, sorry? I think that my father, I mean, obviously he's Iraqi, he loves Iraq. Uh, he wanted to take me back, mm. show me to the whole family and, and stuff like that. Oh, like you the firstborn, sorry? I'm the firstborn, yeah. Right, right, right. Go on. I'm the only born from my mum. Oh, right, okay. I'm a single child. Right, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm a single child. My okay. dad remarried again, but my mum and dad, they divorced. 
Right. From a from a young age. From a, how old um, was you when? Probably about two. Okay. And then my mum left Iraq. And uh, she so never... was you still in Iraq then with your dad or did you leave? No, she came with me. Sorry, yep. I mean, sorry, she came. With me. She she took me. Yeah. So I, I went with her. Yep. She came with me. Yep. Yeah. And uh, basically, my dad stayed in Iraq, and my mum uh, moved back to the UK. Whereabouts? To South again. South. Oh. All in South. <laughs> All in <laughs> South. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. South throughout, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, different parts of South, obviously. I okay. think that was... Uh, South is massive, you know. Massive. A lot of people don't really massive. understand. I think, like, it's massive, on, it's massive bro. massive thing, man. It's huge, like, bro. Massive with... Yeah, all right, go on. Yeah. <laughs> with legends. Yeah, go on. So you <laughs> anyway, go back As to... you said, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Coming out from your mouth. Yeah, no, it's true, it's true, it's true. Yeah, so basically, I, I, was, I was raised with my grandmother, uh, my grandfather, and my mum. May Allah bless all their souls, because they've all passed away now. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I was raised with them in South London as a single child. Can you imagine? Tell me about it. What do you mean? Yeah, I mean, you know, it was rough. What was it like? How was it like? So eventually when we moved from... We lived so this is 70s, lived... I guess, when you're going to yes, school and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, 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 70s. So when we moved from... Uh, where was it? We was in Streatham. I was in Clapham Junction. Yeah. You know, by the South London man, you're done. That. <laughs> and I ended up in Tooting. Yeah. Now I say probably not Tooting. Tooting. Tooting, yeah. <laughs> Pronounce the T's. And uh, yeah, so I ended up in Tooting, which was, uh, which was rough. Yeah. Which was a rough place. Rough at how? That time. In, what, in what way? Well, as, as I was growing up and I was a single child, you know, a small little guy. You know what I mean? Not like a bit, a bit yeah. bigger now, but yeah. very skinny that time, very small. Yeah. And um, it was just rough on the street. Because once you step out on the street, it's a different ball game from being in your house. And at that time, there was a lot of racism going on, a lot of struggles against, you know, uh, you know, the, the they had groups like the National Front, and uh, lot, there was a lot of hatred going on against. Uh, but what 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 was the main race there in that in in the area? Was it white? Was it white people? Was it black people? Well, I, I never saw many Asians at that time, right. to be honest. So I was really thrown straight into, with white people, right? You know, and they were kind of like the closest people to me, and also black people. Yeah, you know. Um, and uh, both of these sets of people had different uh, different kind of cultures mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Uh, me being, I felt very lost from young, you know, because I was a single child, didn't have a father. My grandfather was too old that time really mm -hmm. to represent as a father, but he mm -hmm. represented, you know, up to a point. Yeah. But he couldn't do things that fathers could probably do, you yeah. know, with me. But he'd done his best anyway. So you had no male like figures around you, really? Not really, no. I had my grandmother who was like a male because she was very harsh. Right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> she was a very tough woman. Yeah. And my mum was... Very soft-hearted, you know, but very organised as well. Yeah. They're all educated. You know, my mum was a qualified nurse. My grandma, my grandmother was a, uh, a qualified secretary. She worked in Harrods. Okay. Even I ended up got, getting a job there. But, Come on. But I got sacked eventually. Our fire and R.I.P. Yeah. 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 Now that, you know, it's, it's crazy. You got sacked? I got sacked from every single job I had. Because what did you do, bro? My dream, <laughs> I never used to turn up and all this kind of thing, really. I just was immature at that time. And my dream was to make it in the music business yeah. at one stage. Well, we'll get to that. You see your yeah. Iraqi background, so there was no one really around no you. No one represented Or like a South background. African, not South African really a, like, family. Like outside your family, I'm saying. No, no, you there was no one. identify no, no, with a lot of nothing, people. Because on, on the surface, I know like if we was to judge, you come across like a like an Asian, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, But it's not the same, is it? 100%. Because look at you and you think, well, my man looks like an Asian boy, yeah. Asian boy. But yeah. really... You, you, you may not be able to identify with the Asian boys because you're no, not from exactly. South we did, Asia, we did have India, some connection. Pakistan. We did, yeah, we did have yeah. some, a bit of connection because obviously South Africans, you know, they, 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 they have the same type of foods up to a point, you know, right. cooking biryani, curries, and yeah, this kind of thing. Yeah. But generally, no, generally I was very lost at one stage and I didn't even really know who I was. And uh, having the name of what I had, Abdul Wahab is my real name, I didn't even yeah, want Abdul to... again is, you know, Islamic, yeah. some, some might mistake that for South Asian, you know. Yeah. He looks like a Pakistani boy, yeah. etc. Yeah, go on, sorry. That means always it's an Arabic name. Yeah. But, but saying that, um, you know, uh, I used to get a lot of, lot of uh, headache or a lot of uh, abuse because of just my name, because of my colour and stuff Is like this that. in school or outside? Or is it everywhere? In school and outside, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Even, with the, even with the people that came, claim to be like your closest friends. Yeah. They had that in them as well at that time. It was just normal. It was even on the TV, in the films, in everything. You know, people used to use words that they would never dream of using now. I mean, I know if you go back to some of the old school, like, you know, back in the day, comedy sketches and all that, they're very racist, you know? They're, they they're, are, yeah. they are, they are. And I got racism from both sides of the because people just think it's just from white people. Yeah. I got it from black people as well. Okay. Yeah, because some black people took, you know, like, 
like I say, you like Malcolm X. Yeah. Right? He said, you got the, this is the words of Malcolm X, not my words. You've got the, the field Negro and the house Negro. Right. And basically, you know, the house Negro will say, you know, how you master today? And master, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like sick or ill. And he will say, master, I feel sick, you know? Yeah. But the, 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 the field Negro, when he hears master's ill or sick, he will say, good, I hope he dies. Because he he wants freedom. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So you had some people like that, them days where they thought, you know, they were being accepted, you know, with like the white culture or the white colour. And they they would they would they would like wanna attack people even of their own colour, you know, because you know, we've we got we you know, we got all the same blood in us, <laughs> you know, uh, underneath the skin. Of course. So we're all the same really. Um, they would, uh, you know, throw insults on me and, and stuff like that. Was but you, not everybody. In every race, there's good and bad. Well, was you bullied in like a physical way or just a yeah, mental way? Yeah, physical, everything. I used to come back from my house and find my door kicked off, find things sprayed on the door, you know, being called packy, you know, being hit, being punched, kicked, you know. At or, what age is this, roughly? This is when I'm like five, six, seven. Really? People didn't care, no. Really? Eggs thrown at me. You know, this was just normal for me. And I thought this is normal. My name getting, you know, I didn't even like my name at that time. I didn't, I didn't even like myself, to be honest, at one stage, you know. Uh, but that's all the struggle God puts you through to make you who you are. That's deep, bro. <laughs> yeah. That is deep. And it just carried on throughout, like, secondary school. Mm. You just got used to it. You, you just, like... This is just... from primary school. Yeah. This is from primary school. And then secondary school... Uh, things kind of started to change. Yeah. You know, because obviously I'm growing up now. Yeah. You know, and I'm I'm getting more wiser. I'm getting more fitter and stronger. Yeah. And stuff like that. You know, so. So you so you kind of felt that you had to fight for your own your own corner. Yeah. Hundred percent. You have to defend yourself because if you don't, no one's going to defend. But that you. but was that hard with no male figures around you? Do it you was saying because you had to make them choices by yourself. Like. Hundred percent because um, no one really told me to fight back except and I so I had some close. Uh, uh, Jamaican friends, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure a few of them. And yeah. if, I, if I forget any, please forgive me, because <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I have to say that because there's so much people like you didn't mention me, I didn't mention yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? when you do your things, but you can't always rem remember everybody. Yeah, but basically, like Gareth Wilson, I used to move with, right, and his father was a real like Kingstonian Jamaican, you know, rough. right? Yeah, he, Gareth was born in UK, and yeah. I used to mix with him and his sister and all that, and you know, um, that's how I kind of got into more reggae music and stuff, my yeah, path that way. And his daddy always used to say, yeah, you know, he said, wow, this is a wow, this could be wow. Any boy I message, you know, they'll lick him down. <laughs> yeah. And I'd be like, okay. okay <laughs> but so I was a got... small little guy. <laughs> so, so you got you know kind I mean? of father figures from your friends' parents and yeah. stuff like that. Everybody was a father figure to me, right. in a way. Of course. And like every, every friend was like a brother and sister, which I realised it's not all the case. It's not the case. But I took them on like that because I didn't have no brothers and sisters. Do you think in your subconscious you was like magnetised towards that because it was missing in your life? 100%. Does that make sense? 100%. Yeah? Because yep. it's missing, you kind of, in your in your subconscious, that's where you kind of deviate to. Yeah. Because, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, when I used to go with my friends and they used to go to their sisters' houses or their dad's separate houses or, or stuff, because we used to do that. Sometimes I'd go with Gareth and we'd go down to his bigger sister's house mm. and there used to be parties going on there and, mm. <laughs> and stuff like that and, you know, bear yard food and bear reggae music playing and I'm like, yeah. You know what I mean? I just, at that time, I said, right, this culture, I like this culture. So I didn't really think about my own culture. So I said, right, they, they're kind of accepting me. So I'm going to flow with that culture. And I like the music. So um, I was like a lost identity. So what did you, um, was you speaking to your dad in this period? Or did no. You, you just completely, no. he just wasn't around? No, no my dad was calls, never no. around, no. Okay. And the reason why that was not, I don't, I don't say it was just, it wasn't my dad's fault. My mum also was scared because the situation in the Iraq was very, very bad. Right. There was wars going on. Yeah. So she was worried, you know. But she always promised me, which she kept her promise as always, um, to take me back to Iraq. And she did when I was 20 years old. Okay. D did you ever go to South Africa in, as like a Yes, trip? yes. I went to South yeah. Africa before. Yes, I went to South Africa. Where in a... South Africa, by the way? Well, I've got family all over the place, but I've been to, I visited... Johannesburg, which they say Joburg. Yeah. Big up all the South Africans. So Joburg and big up the Iraqis. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Joburg. And uh, then I, I've been to, I went to Durban. Yeah. I went to a place not too long ago, actually, called uh, Pletterburg. Uh, Pletterburg. I can't say the place, but it's near Cape Town. But when you went as a, like a kid, did you notice any differences or like similarities with the UK? How did you like take that? Um, that time when I went, I was a teenager. Yeah. So that time, man, was like... Is this pre... Uh, 
apartheid or post? I don't, this is... When was the first time you went down there? This is after apartheid, yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right, go right, right. Yeah, I think this is after apartheid. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't go in apartheid time. Yeah. No, no. Uh, this is after apartheid. Right. Uh, my grandfather, he died. He could never go back. They wouldn't allow him in the country. Why? Um, because of his political... Stance. Yes, and what right. he was involved in. He was involved with the ANC, which is the African National Congress, right. which was the party of Nelson Mandela. Right. My grandmother was Nelson Mandela's first secretary. Right. So she's in the, written in the book, and he's written in the book, uh, Long Walk to Freedom. Right, okay, amazing. Excuse Her name is Zubaydah Patel, and his name's uh, Kesson Patel. They were Patels. Right. But I took the, another surname. I took my father's surname, which right. is Arabic okay. surname. But um, yeah. So so, they were, so your family has a tie to like Nelson Mandela? 100%. I, I met amazing. Nelson Mandela. You met him? Yeah, I met what? him. What? <laughs> what? What? I met him. When? I met him when he came over here, uh, when he went to the Dorchester Hotel. So basically, my grandmother knew he came, and she rang up the hotel. And the secretary of him now, that time, answered. Um, they put her, her, her through to, to her. Yeah. And she said, I'm Zubaydah Patel. And she goes, I know who you are. Just come. Wow. So we went to the hotel. My mum didn't come that day, actually. It was my ma it was my auntie from Canada, my cousin Martha, uh, myself, and my grandmother. And we went to the hotel. And it was really weird because when we went upstairs and all the security was outside the room thinking, who's this family just coming in? We're not, you know, diplomats or... How old was you? I was in... Uh, Roughly. Just... I think I was in my 20s. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so then you remember, that's amazing. Yeah, I've got pictures and all that kind of thing. Oh, I swear. Yeah, I was in my 20s. And that. But yeah, um, yes, yes. So I what met, was that like? I, I used to call him Uncle Mandela. I had to call him Uncle M M M Mandela, you know. Uncle yeah. Mandela, Uncle you know. Mandela, yeah. I kind of say that. You know, that's unbelievable. Yeah, Uncle Mandela. And uh, basically, yeah. Yeah. How, so, how was he? like? He's a man of honour, isn't he? He's a man of, yeah. of, of, of great... Prestige. You know? That's unbelievable, yeah, he's man. A, you know, say he's, a, he's an honourable person with with, with 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 amazing. He's a lion, isn't he? Could <laughs> say that, you know. So you used to visit him. Mm. That's, huh? that's 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 Well, I met him once. Yeah. Okay. Well, mm. but you know, but your family. Yeah. I haven't. He haven't even wrote an autograph for me to UK Apache Abdul Hab, a great musician at yeah. that time when I was doing music, and he was uh, he was just you know, but he was so happy to meet to see my grandmother again. Yeah. Because he had. He, I mean, even mentioned him in the book, he had a lot of respect for her. Yeah. Because at that time in South Africa, people were just put into their different places. You know, like yeah. obviously the, the whites were in the highest place, the whites, then you had the, the Asians, yeah. you know, then you had the coloreds were like the mixed, and then you had the Africans at the bottom. And people were scared to mix because you, you know, you'll get killed. But my family stood for justice. And that's how I came, I was raised with revolutionary people. And that's what kind of made me want to do music as well, reggae music, you know, at that how I started really. Um, because it had a revolutionary message. It had positive messages in it. Wow. You know? The reggae music always had something to do. I would say it was the, you know, it was the voice of the voiceless. So you really are a, a mix of the world, aren't you, really, bro? All in United for one. Nations, man. <laughs> that, that, that's amazing. I mean, there's bro. a lot to talk about. I don't think we can get it all in no, this, in this still, little conversation. That's, that's unbelievable, bro. Conversation, bro. Um, all right, so just talk to me about music. How did it first creep in? Like, like yeah, so, how's this, you know, So music was always in my house. You know, my What mother. type of music? Well, we used to watch Top of the Pops, you know that program yeah, back in the course, day? Yeah, of course, of course, course. Yeah, we all you're, did, you're, yeah. And I, I, I know you're young and that, but you're not that young. <laughs> I'm young, boy. <laughs> I am mean. Yeah, yeah. Go on. So basically, we used to watch Top of the Pops and all that kind of thing. And, they're, you know, on Top of the Pops, there was all different types of music from, from you know, right across the board, uh, from pop music, mainstream from popular. mainstream, you yeah. know, to, uh, to reggae music. Who, who's, you know, I got into deep reggae music, right. you know, and then... Um, How? Well, from listening to Top of the Pops, well, I, you know, I used to listen to greats like Dennis Brown, you know, then Bob Marley, obviously, and, and stuff. And then, um, and then the, the, you know, mixing with the uh, Jamaicans. Yeah. You know, obviously, reggae music, number one. Yeah. So I mixed with, uh, obviously, my, my brother Gareth Wilson and them, and then listening to his dad playing reggae music and all that, and listening to people like Brigadier Jerry and Papa Michigan General Smiley. These are all like old school dons, legends, you know, I don't know. Uh, a, a, a an artist called Papa San. Then I, I met, then I met um, some um, um, Jamaicans from Spanish Town. They were born in Spanish Town. Where's Spanish Town? Sorry. So, so Spanish Town is the place in Jamaica. Oh right, right? Go on. And uh, I've never actually been to Jamaica. Right. But my voice has been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah for <laughs> But real. the way I love Jamaicans, right? You know, I used to walk like a Jamaican, talk like a Jamaican, you know, eat like a Jamaican. But I wasn't Jamaican. I was Jamaican. <laughs> so, yeah. but you know, I took it on to a point where people didn't even couldn't, couldn't even tell. Yeah, but you is early doors, isn't it? You are early, early doors. I'm young I, now. I, I, yeah, I say sorry. that because M. R. was on there recently. Yeah, so I yeah. watched it. I watched it. I watched yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it's great to see someone who's going there, embracing yeah. the culture, 
know what I mean? But at that time when you was doing it, was was there any backlash from kind of... That, you know, when I done it, right, it's really weird because I remember he was talking about himself, how it's a new thing in Jamaica, like they, they haven't seen white people or... Yeah. But they have, to be honest. It's, there's, there's, there's been... Yeah. Things go, they go round again in circle. Yeah. So maybe it's new to the new generation or whatever. Yeah. But you've got legends that come from the past that were white. I, I can't even remember their names, but, you know, they, they were big. And, you know, you had that guy sang in for and all that. Oh, yeah, Snow. He, Snow. Yeah. He kind of done a reggae star, but he was from Canada. Yeah. He had a couple of British youths as well yeah. from way back. So this happened, you know. Um, but for, for you, you're kind of getting all of this musical inspiration, yeah? Yeah, there was no Asians at that time really anywhere. Do you know what I mean? In, in, in out on road or or you know, okay. I was like one of the, I was probably one of the first that got there. Right. You know, made... Oh, you was definitely. But yeah, I mean, yeah. You know what I mean. But so <laughs> just just prior <laughs> to getting there, I don't want to say that. No, no, no. But, but like prior to getting there, I'm saying like okay, so, so you've got this musical influence, right? Yeah. So how does that transfer into like I don't know? Are you writing lyrics? Or... So now I'm at home, right? And I'm. I'm how I'm... old are we at this? What? I'm say I'm 60. Right. Okay. And I'm. I'm. I'm... And sorry. Are you like go? Are you doing well in school or is school just a pastime? Just, just a... School was good from the primary school. Right. As soon as I hit secondary school, I started becoming bad. Uh, right, you know, that... But I didn't have bad company. That's the funny thing. The guy I actually started to, to move with was my brother. He became Muslim. Yeah. His name's Musa. Big respect to Musa. You know what I mean? Yeah. We grew together. Right. He was an original yard as well, Jamaican. Mm. So I was very good at networking, right? even at a young age. Right. So when he came Man into had the... the hustle. Yeah, trust me. Yeah. So when he came into the class, it was like, the teacher said, who wants to be guide this guy around? Like, his name's Rodney, that type of Rodney. Mm. So I, straight away, I put my hand up. Yeah. Because so I, I know he's Jamaican. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I thought, you know what? I used to move with him and he would just get everything perfect. Like, he was the best at school Scholar, exams. Yeah. yeah. Strength, really strong. Didn't mess about. Right, and you were the opposite. I was the opposite in a way. Right. But he always has respect for me. Right. You know I mean? And I obviously had ample respect for him and I was learning from him yeah, you know, yeah, I was yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, until later on things kind of changed around when he said he learned from me and that's another story but we'll get to that because um, nothing ever stays the same yeah. I remember walking around the school and saying what 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 to everybody because that was you know what I mean what, yeah. and he goes do you know what that means I goes no <laughs> he goes it means what happened yeah, I goes well, okay <laughs> and then also um I was because I was into the into the, to the madness you know a little bit because I'm thinking that's what you need to do the music and the vibe you know the streets and all that you're, you're acting that kind of way I used to carry like a ratchet knife. Right. These knives that, you know, them days where they, you just flick them out. Yeah, flick knife. And people get, well, it's not a flick knife. Okay. No, it's, like, it's not a flick knife. Right. It's different. It's, it's like, a, it's, my one was ivory as well. It was like a bad boy right. too. <laughs> and it's kind of like, it's like it's like a banana shape. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, a flick knife is different, I think. It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, called yeah. ratchet. Yeah, right. So you just throw this out. And you just, you know, cut people like, tele, they, people used to get telephone cut. They say telephone cut from here to here. To here. Right. You know what I mean? Don't, I never cut nobody or nothing, but it's just one of those things you have. Was that just the culture at the time? Everyone had a... Yeah, So, like, knife crime is... We're talking 30, Way 40 back, years. But it wasn't as bad as now. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no it wasn't bad. But you still felt inclined to carry one? Yeah. But why? Was, was, that, was fashion, that a fashion? Yeah, and all that thing. It's, I, I, I was never into the bad boy thing. Yeah. I never claimed to be. Yeah. But, obviously, sometimes you've got to defend yourself. Of course. You know I mean, sometimes, you know, and, today, and things happen. So, sometimes you do it, sometimes you don't. But my main thing was always about a message. And a positive message. I'm only saying that because I carry that because they they said you need to go to psychiatrist. So already I make my my Who night, said that? <laughs> the school. The school said you need to see a psychiatrist. Yes, yeah, so I had to see a psychiatrist one time. Why? Because you just. I think because I was I was I wasn't doing my exams. I wasn't going into school. A lot of that was bullying as well. There was a lot of madness in the school. Right. There's some mad people in the school, so I didn't really feel comfortable. So in you the were school. getting bullied left, right. Not bullied, but, but, but you just get you know you just get a hassle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you're young, you don't want hassle. So the school says you you need to see a psychiatrist. So how yeah. did that feel? Well, it's really weird because I when you're young, you never think sometimes the questions that he's asked you, somebody's told him to ask you those questions. So he started talking about my dad, like mm. he knew my dad. Right. So I figured, you know things about my dad, but I didn't even realize, because w- that was always a big part of me in my life, missing brothers and sisters. And started to unearth that family. things, yeah. I was saying before, when, my, when, my, when um, my friends used to go to like, you know, their brothers and sisters, you know, uh, I used to feel very alone, because mm. I'd be sitting by myself in my house. Mm. You know what I mean? And, um, but that also made me, Turn to the art form of writing and well, so, not writing, but memorizing because I never used to write. So, what did the psychiatrist say? Just how did that? End he just up? said one day, some of the kids in the neighborhood are gonna carry a gun. You know <laughs> why? Because of that respect. Oh my! God. <laughs> he said you're gonna be the original. That I said. 
That's mad. Okay, I thought, cool. you sure? All right, so go on. So. <laughs> no, he just said, you know, the way you're going is not the good way, which is true. It wasn't. I wasn't. So then how do you start writing? I don't, I don't think they knew how to teach people properly as well. They quickly just kicked them out. And a lot of racism was going in in school as well. Teachers right. were racist. There yeah. were things going on. Like, like how? I can't what remember What's the exactly. most racist thing that's happened to you, if I was to say, like, memory-wise? There's so much. Give me, give me, like, one that's bad. I mean, I got attacked by skinheads. I mean, I got attacked by, like I what, said, what? Just walking the street. Some black people, black own. people. Even when I was doing reggae, yeah. But like, even when I was with good people, you know, what I mean, like I said, it's good and bad. There was people that hated me, mm. you know, what I mean, there's one. They just hate you and they're jealous. And, and they just they say, well, you. Yeah. And when you, but the one thing about me, even like mm. back at my skill when I when I started to perform places, because we built a sound, you know, mm. we got into sound systems. Mm. Sound systems at that time were in. Yeah. You know I mean, they've gone all out around full circle now. Yeah. And you find a lot of people in Europe have sounds. Yeah, there's yeah, still some yeah. sounds, but yeah. it used to be really big that time. Yeah. So we built our own sound. I mean, and um, chat on the sound, but you'll always find people there who just don't like you. Don't like what you're doing. Yeah, because you're Asian. Yeah. You know what I mean, or whatever. Even you know, some, like, mostly it was from British born, you, not Jamaicans, Jamaicans. <laughs> That's the funny thing. You classify yourself as Asian, by the way, because <laughs> you have an African side, mm. you have a, a kind of Middle Eastern side, don't you? So, it, like, how do you. I remember I done a yourself? talk a long time ago. Right. I was speaking to a, a black brother. And I told him this Jamaican, Jamaican joke. Mm. And he didn't really laugh because he said to me, no, bro, you're like, you're like us. He, 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 he didn't want to hear it. Mm. Like, he just said, yeah, because I took it on so deep. Mm. You know, I, I, like I said, I would, I would just talk, yard talk. Mm. Like, people thought I was from Jamaica. Even mm. when I went to Canada I, to visit my aunt one time when I was young. Mm. I'd done a mad thing one time. I remember I, I had to go to Canada. And because um, my mum was going there or something, so we'd go together as a family. And I thought, my God, I'm not going to be able to chat on the sound. So I just went to some car, random car. I said to my mum, I'm going to go out. She goes, yeah, go out. Went to some random car. There's some yardies in there. I said, yo, I'm an MC. And then he goes, what? You can't chat? Why? And I goes, yeah. He goes, jump in the car then. So I said, all right then. I didn't know where I was going. Yeah. They could have murdered me. Yeah. But they took me to one of the maddest places in Toronto. Yeah. And this guy, this, this boy, they, they, they were playing Donimos. You know, they had the yardies. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they were just, and they said, and they said who's this? They said, this boy from UK or whatever, can chat lyrics and, and I said, you can't chat, why? He said, yeah, man. He goes, all right, come upstairs. Took me upstairs. He had the sound system. I'd done one tape with him. That was it. Mm. He said, done the dance. <laughs> that, he said, you're coming to a dance with us. Yeah. I said, my aunt is, gonna, is not going to. Where in Canada is this, by the way? Toronto. Toronto, yeah. And here. his brother was connected to somebody in New York with Scott the Rock. Scott the Rock. Or them, you know them right, big, no, the legends of, right. of the hip hop. Right. Scott the Rock is, is, is with Run DMC, all these kind of people. Okay, yeah, yeah. Legends of hip hop. I didn't know who he was because I wasn't yeah. really into hip hop. Yeah. So what, what they did, I said, I'm not going to be able to go to this, to this rave, you know what I mean? Or yeah. dance, that time we call it, you know what I mean? Because don't worry, we'll talk to you, aren't you? When they came to the door, the language changed so much. <laughs> I said, hold on, they did the same people. They said, uh, hello, auntie. How you? <laughs> and my aunt is like, hello. And I, we want to take your, you know, your nephew with us. Lovely Canadian uh, speech, yeah. you know? And, and she goes, okay, take this. She called me. Well, you know, these, these guys are so nice. I go, yes, auntie. As soon as you get in the car, yeah, man, that's so we do. <laughs> yeah, man. Everything man smoking man. weed. <laughs> My eyes probably watching this now. <laughs> but at that time, I was a smoker a little bit. So um, obviously, I give up. I'm But um, yeah, went to that rave. Smacked the rave up. Smacked so bad that I had to go on the other sound as well. They were challenging. Okay. And they wanted me to chat on them as well. So, um, all right, look, let, just let me go back to where you developed this patois, this writing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Where did that... Uh, come from where did it stem from so mixing with pure yardies yeah yeah obviously i'm young yeah i'm picking and when you're young you, you, your brain's like a sieve isn't it you can you know you can i mean like a sponge so yeah you can soak everything in yeah so i'm picking up the twang everything yeah. like even the to, patois even and I'm the listening accent to i'm listening to tapes continuously and the, what tapes Just from yard like or sound tapes right so you're getting them from your friends and uh, you buy sound tapes right and right. i get it from my friends as well right right all right. the yardies i mix with the they've sound got sound tapes and all yeah because yeah. the, the, the yardies i mix with the original yardies like the ones from Spanish town, mm. they got the Spanish town, man, them as well, mm. right? You know, they were just proper into sound. Mm. I mean, their bigger brother was a bad man. And we used to go to um, we used to go to a youth center. My mum, you know, bless us, she said, all right. I said, mama, I want to go to this youth center, right? She goes, all right, gay. So this this, this youth worker he used to pick us up, me and the Spanish town man, them, them, and we jump in this car, go to this youth, youth center in Battersea, right? With sound called BMW Sound, right? right? And they used to play all the sounds, Jalife. Uh, BMW. This is all South London, yeah. you know, the bad man sound. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably not happening down here. No, 
<laughs> on them uh, small vinyls, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? You lot didn't know about Garage. Uh, this, this is where Garage comes from. Okay, you know, go on. Obviously from Jungle as well. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. We, we ain't Jungle yet. We're just in the regular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know? So I'd be in this youth club, you know what I mean? Skanking out, <laughs> smoking weed. Yeah. You know? I'm just listening to the, the chat. And then I get tapes of the, all the yard artists. The yard artists like Papa San. I used to love Papa San. Papa San was one of the best yard artists ever. Uh, even though he disrespected the Muslims not too long ago, so but he's maybe he's confused, but okay. because he's become Christian preacher now. Okay. But I still respect him for his talent. Um, uh, I used to imitate him to the T. Right. What lyric for lyric, like just not not take his lyrics, but the style. The style. To the point that. What was his style? I don't know his style. Sorry. I, I'm so yeah, 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 yeah. He would like he he could he could do the longest lyrics ever. Right. So obviously on sound system you play the A side of the rhythm. Yeah. Okay? And it's the vocal on there. Then you put on the B side. Instrumental. Yeah. Right. So man's just spinning, chatting on it. Mm. And he'll chat, chat, chat. They had a lyric. Some of it's lyrics. Mm. You know what I mean? You can Google him, you know what I mean? Yeah. And when the record's done, he's carrying on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like okay. he could chat for five minutes. Like non yeah, Believe yeah, me, yeah, the yeah. crowd go mad. And I was just amazed by this. You know what I mean? I thought, this, this artist this is mad. So I started to imitate and listen to him all the time, like religiously. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, I never worshipped him. No, I still worshipped the one God all the way. But yeah, and to the point is, I would imitate him. To the point, I I even fooled or you know confused one of my closest friends was a guy called David Boomer. Right. That's how I met him. Right. So so you're practicing your lyrics in this um, youth centre. I'm, I'm I'm practicing. At, no, I'm practicing at home, remember, because I got a sound system at home as well. What do you mean sound system at home? So I built. What does that mean? You know, decks. You got decks at home. I got yeah? decks, mixer, speaker, mic. Well, twelve ten Technics. Hundred percent. Mark two. Come on. With the penny on the on thing. You Are you all right? Bro? <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. Come on. Okay. The original stuff. Yeah. So I'm playing. Obviously, I've got my sound system. I'm doing this thing, and I'm practicing, practicing. And just in your bedroom, microphone, just practicing. Yeah. Yeah. And and now you know we got a sound, so we're playing in like parties and stuff. Yeah. Then I started to move with the different sounds. I mean, so one of the biggest sounds I moved with was a party sound. It was called uh, Sophisticated Gents. Right. Yeah. And they go around from party to party. Party to party, yeah. And I don't know sound. how I met them. I'm probably at a party. I probably went to a party. They were there. I took right. the mic. And once I take the mic... So hold on. So let's talk about the first <laughs> time you you got public on the mic. Because you're mm. in the, your bedroom. Mm. Do you remember the first time that you touched mic? One of the first times I touched mic yeah. was in school. Okay. Right. So you're practicing in your bedroom. There's a... There's a, there's, there's a what, a talent show or something? We could start from primary school. But from primary school, right, there was a a play that everybody used to do called Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a standard play. Yeah. And I remember I was young, I was little, you know, and they were choosing everybody, 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 and I was left at the end. So basically, she was choosing everybody to play a part, and I was left at the end. So I said to her, you know, Miss, who am I? She goes, don't be silly, you're Who Joseph. am I? The gallon <laughs> sugar. Yeah, go on. Okay, no, yeah. Yeah. But basically, yeah, so she said, no, you're Joseph. I thought, what, me, Joseph? Okay, wow, I'm, I'm number one there. Right. Right. And in that play, obviously, you've got to sing some songs by yourself. Yeah. There's a one time when Joseph, you know, in Islam is Yusuf, um, he's in the prison. Right. You know what I mean? So he sings this song. So I sang it a bit, but I forgot the words and I just stopped. But that was kind of the first time doing first a so time. solo thing. Then the second time was that I can remember was when I was in secondary school. I went to Ernest Bevan School in, in Tooting, you know what I mean? And um, there was a, there was a, a, an assembly. Right. So I think me and the next person, we've done a little little freestyle and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then it just after that, it was going to parties, met up with sophisticated gents. So you were always just doing this, okay, so like publicly, out outside of school, the first time, do you remember touching mic? I wouldn't remember the first you time, wouldn't. but I remember it would be in some party, party more yeah. time, you know, because we used to go have loads of, every weekend was just a, a party. And what kind of lyrics were you coming up with? Boy, I can't remember that. So probably just some girl just lyrics or something. Some, some, yeah, something, something. I would, but all my lyrics actually, I did form them into songs, because as a reggae artist, that's what you do. You know what I mean? You don't just you do freestyle, but the songs that you do or the lyrics that you do, they have a, a, a like a um, like a verse, chorus, verse. So automatically. But you're how did a you know song. this kind it's of? Not, it's not like MC or right. But how did you know about? Putting lyric chorus and all of that. Did yeah, that because I'm already watching Top of the Pops. Yeah. Right, and so you're I, figuring it out yourself, basically. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, no yeah. one's told you you've got to do a verse chorus. No, 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 no. You've just figured it out. Yeah. This is how and it's then, and then you can see structure. That's structure, yeah. Yeah, so you figure out, yeah. you figure. Yeah. So you're just structuring this stuff and mm. then you're going out there. Do you remember your first structured kind of bar lyric song? No? Not really. And I, sometimes I would cover, do cover songs. Right. 
cover other people's yeah of, of hits of like you know yeah. from from whatever's on top of the pop something is this chat because reggae used to do that reggae used to cover a lot of yes, people's songs did, yeah, yeah. so we used to do that as well but then obviously there's original stuff as well but is this is this chatting or is this singing because it's well, two this different is more, this, this is more like chatting i was too shy to do my singing right i, I was ne- I, I didn't think i could sing Okay, so you just chatting on the mic. Yeah, I'm doing the rapping. More hosting, bit. rapping, yeah. but yeah. it's a like reggae style with patois in it, yeah? Reggae style with patois, yeah. Okay, cool. So then... Ha- like people actually thought I was kind of like Jamaican coolie. Like, you know, they say coolie. I don't really like the word, but yeah. So they thought I was Indian Jamaican. Right. Because I would go barbers or get my hair curly. Like, and my hair was curly anyway. Right. Right. But it wasn't curly like enough. So I wanted it to be an Afro curly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Have that look. I put the like, like you know, we used to watch people like Supercat as well. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. The Don Dada. The Don Dada. You know what I mean? But you know when you're chatting, are you like, um, are people, are you like, is your patois smooth? Like, are you is it smooth with it or is it kind of rusty to start with? Or you... No, I was really more, I was patois mad then. Yeah. yeah. So I, you was talk... I, would, I would live and breathe it. I yeah. wouldn't, it wouldn't, I, the only time I didn't chat patois was when I talked to my mum. To your mum. But otherwise I'm chatting patois with my bread. That's how we speak. Wah, yeah. go on, you know what I mean? You know, we're just chatting yardy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Outside. I was living that kind of thing. And like, yeah. no one, no one ever thought that it wasn't kind of authentic or whatever it was. Like, no, you... and even though they did, I didn't think of it. I was just so lost in it. Not when I say lost, I was so... Immersed. Yeah. Immersed is Im- the key yeah. word. It was, it was just life for me. Okay. I thought, this is what I'm going to do. I've got a mission. You know what I mean? Because I remember when the, the uh, people used to say to me, like the close people, you know, you can chat, you know, you should, you should make something out of it. And I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to try. But deep down, I wanted to, but I but didn't. You didn't have the self confidence? Yeah, I didn't say it to everybody until I started really thinking, right, now I want to try, I want to make it. So you're building this thing, you're getting, you're uh, gaining your stripes. Where does the name come from? Has the name arrived now, UK Apache, or is it? Well, at the beginning, I st- obviously the, 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 my close yardies are calling me Indian. You know what I mean? Well, I've got an Indian, everything good, Indian. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah, Indian, Indian, what can I say? So obviously I say Apache Indian. Right? So that was your first name? One of my, one of my first names. Apache yeah. Indian. Yeah, now that's yeah. very interesting because there was an Apache Indian. Exactly. And who I, I just know. spoke to recently. Big up yourself, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Respect uh, to Yeah, yeah. He's coming on the show, Apache hopefully. Tribes, you know? So yeah. hold on. That's interesting. So was Apache Indian out at this time? I don't, I don't know if he was out. I don't know. I, when I say, I mean, he was probably doing his thing, but I didn't know of he him. He wasn't mainstream then? No, I didn't know of right, him. Right, so hold on. Where does the, that, does the Apache come from? So Apache is like from looking at Supercat. Right. You know what I mean? Because Supercat calls himself the wild Apache. He's the first Apache. Right. Yeah. And what does that mean like, for anyone out there? Well, where, so what's Apache the comes from obviously the Native Americans. You right. Know, Native American in, in America. Right. The Apache tribes. Right. You know? And it's funny enough because I there's so many things I didn't know I was actually connected to more than I actually thought. Mm. And so I looked at even Jamaicans. Mm. Right? I didn't really realize. I didn't know that Jamaicans originally were Muslims. Right. Gets deep. Yeah. And the Apaches, I heard they were Arabs as well. Right. My mum looked it up and something. I don't know, you may get some Apaches saying, no, no, no. But because people sometimes, they don't, they know the history, but they may not go deep. My mum used to go deep into histories of people. So the Which Apaches is, were a, type, uh, a tribe? They were a tribe. Yeah. Right, okay. So you've taken that name, but you've got the name from Supercat. Yeah, and obviously you're... we've seen Apaches on films, you know, like, uh, uh, what's your name? Uh, Geronimo? Yeah, right, the, I've the, not the, seen The it. Wild Apache, you know. These are legendary apaches who fight so, they fight you know they're warriors so so for so, me so that name apache is like a warrior and i'm a warrior like, right right because right. i've got a mission of course you know, like, so you are apache indian i'm calling myself that's, apache indian, yeah that's mental so, so you're calling yourself apache indian something like that yeah okay so you're going out as apache indian yeah that's mental because obviously i didn't know that yeah so, but i'm not big yet yeah right i'm just, just doing little little things here and there right 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 yeah so when did it change or to... Or Wild Apache, or Apache Indian, Wild Apache, things like that. Right, right, right. So when did it become UK Apache? Okay, so when I saw Apache Indian blow up... So Apache Indian blows up now. Yeah, and I'm like, from, <laughs> from Birmingham, same yeah. name. I ain't gonna lie. Boom shakalak. I was, yeah. I was like a bit, I was just a bit, I was a bit upset, you know what okay. I mean? But I thought, okay, he's done it now. He's, he's taken that title, so what do I think about now? But it worked out better in my way because, right. you know, I even connected to something that was all British kind of thing. So you, you know? had the same name, you don't know each other... He's blown first. Obviously, he takes the name. There's no way you can use that name now. No. So then you just get UK Apache. Do you pick that or is it just... No, no. What happened? So basically, we have a show all together. What do you mean a show? There's a show that we're put on. Right. Right. And it's, it was in Empire in Leicester Square. They call it Empire, that club. Right. Empire yeah, Square, I know Empire. But yeah. they've changed the name so many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a massive show. They call it the Clash of the Apaches. Right. So they had, a, they had Supercat. Right. Who had massive tunes. Supercat was there, yeah? Yeah, he came. Right. They had a patchy Indian. He yeah. just had that big tune. What? Right? Boom shakalak. No, he had the one, the one before that. Uh, so he's big in the reggae world. He's a, not big. Arranged marriage? No. He had. We had what? 
he had one tune, Chuck <coughs> Dale or something. Like, okay. One of those tunes that were just in the reggae world. Yeah. But he's, he hasn't dropped the big one that's right. going to make him commercial. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, And me, I had this tune, the first tune I done was called No Poll Tax. Right. Which nobody never knew because right. it got banned. Right. <laughs> so I'm on this clash. Okay, so it's the first time you meet uh, Apache Indian. I didn't even meet none of them because I tell you what happened. I got there, the place was rammed. But what, what, sorry, what was your name on the flyer then? UK Apache. Oh, and then who like picked? So who I picked, picked you. So one day I'm thinking, I think I'm saying, what can I call myself? What can I, um, you know, where am I? I said, I'm from the UK. Let's call myself UK Apache. So, so they called you and said, we're going to have a clash with the Apache. It worked That's in both ways. You know how it worked in both because I used to have a friend and she used to take the mic out of me. She goes, unknown Apache. <laughs> right, right, right. I said, that works. Like, so it's, it's UK Apache from the United Kingdom. An unknown Apache. Yes. But that clash, or what was it? A clash or just a show? It was a show, but they kind of called it the clash of the Apache or something, something like that. Promo. But that must have been amazing to be on a bill with Supercat, no? Mad. How mad. was that for you? Like... Mad. But listen to what happened, right? So I'm in the place and the place is ram. And they, made, they said, we got Supercat. It was like, yeah. We got Apache and it was like, yeah. We got UK Apache. One clap. <laughs> yeah. But I was always the underdog. But, but to be put, <clears throat> thrust in those group of names must be amazing for you, bro. It was. But come on. But it was nervous as well because I didn't have no hit. Right. I, but what happened? So they were calling me up on the stage first. Yeah. But I couldn't find the stage door. It was so ram. Right. So they put Apache Indian up. Right. Yeah. I managed to find a stage door. Right. I go up after Apache Indian. And I do my poll tax you, but people are not really responding. So I'm a very, I'm a lyricist. I can write, I can do things. I, I don't write lyrics. I just think just of it. Yeah yeah, 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 sometimes, you know what I mean? And I turn that to a song. So I, I thought of a lyric just the day before mm. about South Africa. So I said, take down the music, take down the music. And I said, ease up, ease up, President Bota. Watch the ride. I show you free Mandela, man. You think they fight it over. We're not done in a South Africa. The place went mad. Just went, Rah! and I run off the stage. I just run right. off the stage because I was that was me. You was nervous, you know? like... no, and I got the response. That's all I oh, want. Okay, yeah. cool. And my... you didn't want to soak it up, no? No, bro. It was good enough. It was good. So enough. was that nerves then, like literally nerves? Yeah, it was nerves. I mean, so t- is this your first big, big show then? Really? That's one of my first big shows. But right. I've done, I done some shows, but not big like that. Yeah, that was yeah. humongous. And uh, at the beginning, I was very nervous to go on stage. You see, the people you... I was with, I could respect all the people that put up with my rubbish, but they pushed me on the stage. Like, yeah, the other. But you see, sometimes in life there, it's sink or swim, so they put you out there 100%. and you swum. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's how I learned swimming as well, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I it can thrown, make or break you, though, I got innit? thrown into the pool. <laughs> but you see those opportunities, they can make or break you. 100%. So you go up there, you smash it, you, get, smash you get the whole thing, and then. So now people are kind of knowing my name a lot. But bit. did you meet Supercat and. Um... I didn't meet him, but I saw him. What about Apache Indian? No, I didn't see Apache Indian at that time. But Apache Indian's name is is big at the time. Like it's bubbling, isn't it? He's big in the reggae world, yeah. Have you met him since? I I can't remember if I met oh, him. Oh, really? That's mad. I think I've been I've been on some shows with him, but I don't think we've actually met. It's so him, mental. I'm, that I can remember. I'm speaking to him now about coming on the show, so like, it's amazing. No, bro, big bro. up, man. He's, he's, he's yeah, a talent. No, he's talented. absolutely smashed and it, Obviously, he's got, he's got history. Yeah. I mean? But saying that, um, people used to get our names mixed up a lot, though. Oh, trust me, yeah. like a lot, a lot. Even now, like I, say, I know sometimes Yo. I see my videos, like UK Apache, you know, I mean, original out of videos, and people yeah. say Apache Indian, and people say no, no, this is UK Apache, which yeah. I get it, I understand. You understand? Can get a bit confused. Then how how did it make you feel coming up though when you kind of people are mixing the two? <coughs> That's because only you're when... both Asian. All right, cool, yeah. but you're different. You know what I mean? That's only when um, basically Nutter. Right, we're going to talk about Nutter, so we yeah. can't even, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you do this thing, you yeah. see your singing that you do. Is yeah. that, how, how have you learned that? Is that just self taught? Yeah, self taught. Because, you, because your harmony is like, amazing, do you know what I mean? I used, to, I used to practice at home all the time. What, like hours? Yeah, I, I mean, my talent or my skill that God gave me, you know what I mean? One of them, because He's given everybody mm. some more than one. Mm. Um, basically, um, I thank I thank Allah for um, You know, I would practice from the morning to the night. Just like I would get up in the morning without even having breakfast or going down and just practicing and practicing until my stomach would hurt me until I'm, you know, until I'm really hungry. Then eat, then think about eating. You're Back just in literally the day. just singing, mm. just yeah. just like copying other songs. Now I do that with with the Quran, but yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but you know, back in the day, that's I still... amazing. All right, so cool. So you're out there doing sound systems after that Empire mm-hmm. thing, you're, you're you're getting more shows. You're now UK Apache, yeah. Now I'm UK Apache, yeah. Right, okay. But I haven't got a hit yet or nothing. Okay, but so you... my next tune come out is called Bogle Rock. Just tell me what this poll tax tune was about. So it, tax, it seems self-explanatory, but go on. Yeah, because obviously I'm raised with, you know, revolutionary people. My grandfather tells me about a poll tax, a tax that's coming. Nobody don't know about it, but I made a song about it. And um, I've done it with a with a, uh, a producer called Bubblers. I think his name's Bubblers. And it's a reggae, but it's reggae. Uh, style. Reggae style, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. On, it's up on YouTube. Somebody put it up there, actually. Yeah. And um, it, was, it was taken from a... Because reggae, they used to like have so many 
different songs on one rhythm. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. So this was from a big rhythm that came at that time. Mm. And that was in 1990 I released that tune. So you go studio and you record it properly. Yeah, with a guy called Michael Gordon as well. Right. He produced it, helped to produce it. All. How old are you, Tori, when you go to studio first time? It's 1990, so I must have been 21, 22. Okay. Because I was 26 when I done that, right. and that's in 1994. Right. So you so do this poll right. tax tune. Do you like press it up, or is it just like a? No, I think I was. So I was 22 then, but probably. right. Is this record pressed up and stuff like a proper? Yeah, press it up? gets pressed. Yeah. And it's you know we press it up. What like yourselves or to go to a label? How does it? Right. We put it on the label of this guy Michael Gordon, who was a famous R&B singer. Oh, okay. Like Michael, and he was in a group. I can't remember. Them. I forget. Right. He's but he hears you and says, right, I want to put this on a vinyl. Yeah. He he, he said that you're you're bad. You know what I mean? Let's do this thing. And, and this is the real old school where you press the vinyl, you put it in the shops, you just yeah, sell we had it out. Yeah. On, on seven inch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, and we and it went out a bit, but obviously it got it didn't get no love yeah. on the radio because it was talking against the poll tax that Maggie Thatcher. Yeah. You know, uh, put into place, which really. Caused a lot of problems. Yeah, there was yeah. riots and everything like that. Yeah. So me rep trying to be the voice of the voices. Yeah. Representing. So right. I've done this now paying a poor tax. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't pay no. Is that like, the hook? It began, it began is... like my, 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 it began a bit like that. Yeah, now pay no poor tax. Now pay. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't pay the poll tax. All right, yeah, cool. yeah. And then the next tune. So you're getting used to the studio environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then then the next song. I've done what? a few other tunes, but then the next tune to really make ripples in in the sea in the waves. Um, was a track called Bogle Rock that I done. Bogle was a dance with a yeah. guy called Spider Johnson. Right. And uh, yeah, and David Boomer was featuring on actually. Right. People that wouldn't know that, but and this is about the Bogle Rock dance, which was a massive dance. There's the Bogle. I don't know about the Bogle Rock. What's the? Bogle? Well, I called it Bogle Rock. What? What is that? Just the, just the, like the rocking. Yeah, but it's the same thing. And and then there was a gunshot <laughs> Bogle, isn't it? I know, bro. Well, yeah, Mr. Bogle, isn't it? And he, yeah. yeah, he done this. And Bogle was just massive. Even up today, people still do a bit of bogling. But um, yeah, so I said, let me do this tune. And it became like the second biggest Bogle tune uh, underneath. Um, okay, so it's getting Buja Bantams. Oh, swear. Bogle, yeah, because on um, on the uh, on the Voice magazine, right. Voice paper, yeah. right, right, right. So your songs are getting played now. Well, now this got a bit of love on uh, Choice FM. Oh, sick. Okay, Trace Um, Just talking quick about money. Are you making money at this no, point? Not nothing. Sure. Nothing. And then up I'm to this point. I'm getting jobs now at this point because my mum's like, you need to go work. Right. Working <laughs> so where? Everywhere. Like, I worked on the London Underground. I worked in sales. I worked in hospitals. Full time or part time? Well, full time. Okay. But I got sacked from every single job. Because of the music? Because I wanted to do the music. Yeah. yeah. And I was immature, like I said. So um, you weren't coming on time, you didn't, you, you, you didn't pay it no mind? Not really, no. And you're just thinking the lyrics whilst you're at I work? I think I need to make you this. You know your I path. Really, yeah, I really want to do this, you know. You but, um, but you're doing um, shows on the weekend and stuff? Yeah, up, parties on the I weekend. Presume, yeah. I'm doing parties on the weekend. And, uh, and just going shows. to work, brack up on a Monday. Like, yeah. <laughs> Don't, not even going to work, that's the oh, problem. Okay, okay. That's <laughs> so why I got sacked. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> and then one day, I get a knock on my door from this guy called, a manager called Sam Carroll. What, he just knocked on your door? Yeah, he found me, yeah. yeah. I was living in a flat right. with, with David Boomer. We shared a flat. Where's this? Uh, south? Uh, in South. Oh, South, bro. It's not so South. Uh, yeah. you, you take me that way, am I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, Where's on. this place again? Uh, no, always in South, bro. And, you know, and he knocks on my door and he says, yeah, are you UK Apache? I said, yeah. He goes, oh, I've got an artist called Mushtaq and uh, he's got a track called Take Me Home. And we heard some of your stuff and he's heard it and he wants you to feature on it. Right. And I'm a manager and I can manage you. And I goes, boy, all right then. He came with a paper. I've managed this person. I thought, I haven't got no manager. Yeah. I need a manager. Right. So I said, cool. I'll go with him. So I've done this track. So would he make you sign sign something or just like? Yeah, yeah. What, what there and then? Not there and then, but you can't not, too long, not, too, not too long. I just trusted him. Right. I signed it. Yeah. I just Everything he said, I just trusted. I, did, I didn't know that time. Yeah, young. You know, there was no internet. There was yeah, no... yeah, and he's telling you, this is, this <clears> is <throat> yeah. I'm going to take you to the promised land, etc. right? Okay, yeah. you signed the thing, right? Go on. So basically, yeah, signed it and um, uh, this path started with, with Sam Carroll. Uh, done this tune called Take Me Home, uh, which is cool. And that got some love on, uh, on Choice FM. Yeah, and stuff like that. Um, but then he Choice of Fame is capital extra now, by the way. It's like just so people don't yeah. know, it's, it's like the that's true. You know what I mean? They've merged, but Choice of Fame was like the the number one R and B hip hop like reggae. That was urban the, sounds. That was the yeah. That was the one on. that you could yeah you get love. And from. the Choice of Fame Hummer was sick back in the day. But yeah, go on. Yeah, they used to be in Brixton. Yeah. Um, so go on. You you got this tune going. Yeah. So it's not you know I mean it, it's doing its thing, mm. but obviously I want my own thing, and I mean because I'm just featuring on this tune. Right. So I don't know how it came about, but Sam's came to me and said that there's this thing called jungle, like. 
Right, so you never heard of Jungle? Never. Right, it was Sam, okay, your manager. Yeah, yeah. So your manager's done some good things. 100%, he's done some good things. Yeah, no yeah, doubt. Yeah. We know. We're cool now. Okay. We went through a lot of rubbish and that. We're cool. But basically, um, so he comes with this tune by Potential Bad Boy, which is a big jungleist producer, you know what I mean? Right. Legend in the game. And he goes, yeah, you know, um, he wants you to do something on this tune or do something. Is this when Jungle's big? Jungle is growing now. Right, it's growing, right. But it's okay. not big. It's, right, it's big. It's like an underground it's sound. Yeah, yeah. You don't know about it. No. Your manager I'm said, in the reggae world. I don't, right, okay. you know, I don't really know about it. Yeah. The, the tunes haven't crossed over yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm, I'm at the beginning of it in a way, mm, right? Mm, so, <clears throat> so he's like, yeah, you've got Potential Bad Boy, you've got Paul Ibiza, he's, 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 a, he's got a label. Mm. Are you interested in that? Mm. I said, yeah. I just done this advert for Choice FM for unfortunately a drink <laughs> right. um, which I took a bit of Bob Marley style thing called yeah. Every Man Has A Right, right. And, I, and I said he goes yeah I goes I could do that lyrics on this thing but in a jungle way you know every man has a right to decide his own type of music you know what I mean only jungle make the people bubble and wine ask it well jungle we know you know other something so anyway I done this thing and I yeah 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 this is bad and they make a tune you know what I mean and they said right we've got a rave up in a uh, uh, in the Rocket, a place called Rocket, which is Never. on the road where Kiss FM used to be. You know that long road? You that stand your I think it's north north or something. Near where um, the dub dub plate place where Oh but you're the, taking it back. <laughs> I don't know you, man. Acting like I was there, man. I wasn't there, you, brother. I thought you'd done your research, bro. Nah, yeah, these are on. legendary places. Right. Like, the um, old kids where Music like, House. Music House okay. is the dub plate place right. where everybody used to cut dub. Right. Yeah. All the men that we know from back in the day. Yeah. And uh yeah, so there was a place called the Rocket. Right. And it was actually on my birthday. So this is like where jungle's growing now, isn't it? So you mm. go, come and perform. Do this track then. This tune, yeah. So I said, okay, cool. So I do it. And it went all right. It went all right. He goes, you've got to you know, slow down a bit of the jungle. Or, you know, you got to get used to the jungle vibe. What, like the tempos and that? Yeah, it's, it's, a slower, it's a bit shit. slower. A bit, you know what it's I mean? slower than reggae. No, the drum is fast, but the chatting on it has to be... Oh, half time. A bit, yeah, half time. Yeah, you got to get it just slower. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah. And uh, obviously I'm coming from Bashman, you know, because like, of doom, 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 yeah. doom, jungle, ch -ch -ch -ch. but yeah. the, the vocals are... You've got, you got to catch it, you've got to learn to catch it. So it was it. my first PA and I thought it was all right. Mm. And he said, yeah. <clears throat> and then he comes he comes to me with another track, Gangster Kid. Right. By Shia Fix. Right. Right, okay. So he, he gives me this track and on this track, this is the first rhythm of, of original Nutter. Right. Right. Because first Gangster Kid came and Gangster Kid basically had... Um, a little vocal in it by a guy called Gunsmoke. Right. Big up Gunsmoke. And basically, uh, it was like, Two out of other man at our boat, them a big time gangster. Walk up and down with the gun in a them holster. Jungle is man, them no pet on them no powder. Money and it, that come across the And this is what Gunsmoke's done. <laughs> yeah, and this is a little, it's a little clip, clip. That's his little. Yeah, and then the rhythm's like, like the night rhythm. Do, 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 right. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's the same type of sound. It's the same rhythm. Oh, it's the same rhythm. Okay, okay. So what happens, right? He goes, I goes, this, this producer's bad. He goes, yeah, yeah. I goes, it'd be nice to work. So I'm in, I'm, I'm in my new flat now with Boomer because we, we, we took another flat. And uh, I'm living in Mitchum. And sorry, and your um, uh, manager's brought in the Shy FX rhythm to you? Yeah, yeah, okay. he's bringing me this record. Big up the manager, you know, he's but, out of here. But yeah. this time I'm, I'm actually here in Jungle now, getting a bit round now. So I've heard the helicopter tune. Okay, yeah, come I bought on. some Jungle tunes. My neighbor, one of my neighbours, yeah. he's playing Jungle. Right. And he, he's taking me to his house, listening to it. I'm like, this stuff is bad. Right, you're getting and into it. I'm getting to it now. I'm thinking, this is getting big. But mm. still, I don't think no commercial tunes have come yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just growing. It's underground helicopter and all that, yeah. So I go to shy. I go to I go to my manager. It'd be nice to meet these guys. I go, yeah, we can do. We can. We got a meeting with them. Mm. I go, it's great. So when I'm in my yard now, in between the gaps. Now, mate, I've wrote songs way, way back, mm. and I just keep them in my head. Right. You don't write them down. No, I memorize them. I always had this thing about memorization. Right. Yeah. And that makes me perform them better. Yeah. You don't always get the best words. Yeah. Yeah. Because I would say writing is good as well. But to deliver something, I think you should memorize it. Yeah, of course. That came in with the Quran and all that. So anyway, so um, <clears throat> help me with you know with that memorization of the Quran. Um, I'm singing in my yard on my sound system, in between the gaps. No, 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 to myself. <laughs> right, where did that come from? Just, just, that's just a filler for you. No, I've got this song already in yeah, my but mind. Yeah, the need that, all that bit. I done all that on a sound system. Oh, so that used to be like your tag almost. Yeah, like, I had, had a song. I had a song. Me, I did not. I had it. Yeah. Oh, you had the lyric. But okay. I never, I never released it. On the right. <clears throat> so I'll wait for the right time. So where did that lyric come from? Me, I did not. I just, just, just. Okay, so here it comes from. Right. So Supercat used to call himself the Don Dada. Yep. Right. Apache didn't call himself the Don Raja. Yes. So I said, what can I call myself? I'm British. Original Nutter. 
So I said, me de nota, original, mad, 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 mad. <laughs> so I said, this is, this is my title. You know what I mean? Way before I heard the Jungle tune, I had this song as... as right, yeah. as a reggae tune. As a reggae tune. Because, because of yeah. Apache Indian. It came, on from, it came from reggae. Right, right, right. Okay. All so, my songs come from reggae. They, right. they, they never wrote on Jungle. So you've got this lyric, you've got the Nani Niwa. Well, I, I haven't recorded it, no way. You know yeah. I'm just doing it live, like, yeah. Just, yeah, to myself. So I'm doing it on this track, and I'm saying to myself, boy... It doesn't sound too bad, I reckon. On this, on, on this drum. But no, we don't know it, yeah? But my... Hold on, did you meet Shyfex that you met them? No, all? I haven't met them. Okay, yeah. right, go on. Funny thing, when I was doing it one time in my house, my landlady, who was my old, old friend from way back when, mm. right? She was my landlady as well. She came upstairs that day, and I said to her, <laughs> her name's Michelle, gives bigger up. She came upstairs, and I said to her, listen to this quickly. And I goes, Nani ni woi, zinga nana, bad boy, me I did. She goes, yeah, it's all right, it's not bad. <laughs> she went off, right? Said, but even at bad boys in the London, rude boys, like, that was just from old reggae, yeah? You old reggae. Sat and, yeah, because just... I'm picking up, see, the thing is, bad boys in England, rude boys in the London, that's where I'm from, right? Bad boys in a Jamaican, that's the, uh, my brethren, Debbie Boomer taught me, that's the old Jamaican way of saying Jamaica. Well, what is it? Jaken. J- Jaken. Okay, yes. okay, all right. So, you know, who them claim them know about Jamaica? They don't know them words. You, you, right. You could go to Jamaica, but you don't know them words, they? Right. Jaken. That's an old right. way of saying Jamaica. Okay. Yeah. yeah, see? It's all about knowledge, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So basically, and then Rude Boys in a Kingston. Yeah. Because I'm giving the name of the countries and the capitals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. What, why, why am I doing that? Because I have to respect Jamaica because reggae comes with it. And I respect England. I'm from England. Even with... Yeah, yeah. Sick, sick, and then sick. hopefully, then look what happened. Then, then it was put by God to put on a jungle rhythm, which is British. Yeah, mad, mad. And mad. even that British rhythm had. And, ain't it weird? It's such a mishmash, which kind of is it was you like, as well. You as a person that's come from all around the world. It's madness. Ain't, ain't it crazy how it's mad. it was written? The song is like yeah, it was written. An amalgamation of you, bro. Hundred percent. Mad, isn't it? People don't know how deep this song is. Yeah. They just think it's just a song. You no, know, but there's no, a lot. The song, song represents somebody. It's a, it's and a... that person, myself, obviously, and that I'm not trying to blow my own trumpet because it no. sounds. Like, it's just the truth. There's a lot in it. You know what I mean? That you, you never. And people said about this song. That it's brought people. Anyway, so what happens? Right, go on. You put got, the song and you tell your landlady. So my manager goes to me. We got a meeting with Shia Fix. I mean, <clears throat> I goes, "Oh, great." Do you record it prior to that, or do you just have it no, in your head? Right, okay, head. right, go on. So they don't know what I want to record. I, they said to they said to me in this meeting. So it's me, Shy Fix, his representative, which is Dave Stone. Where Shy Fix from? He's from North. Okay, he's from North. But remember, I Where, don't know like Shy North Fix. England or London. I've never met North North London. Okay, right, go on. I've never met him. I don't know him. He's a young boy that time. Right, he's okay. younger than me. Yeah. I'm 20, uh, 26 then. Yeah. He's only eighteen. Right. Okay. But he's a genius in the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah of course he is. You know what I mean? No doubt. Yeah. Right. And. Um, even his story is mad. I mean, I don't even ever get here, but if you ever talk to him about We'd this love story, to, bro. Mad, yeah. yeah. But he's very busy, as you know. Um, uh, hard to get old, hold of. So, when we went to meet or this having meeting, they had no idea what I want to do on this on old this. track that they've released because they've just released this track. Yeah, oh, them, so it's out printed, dubbed. It? It's out on vinyl. Everything. The gangster kid one. Yeah, yeah that's already out. Oh, okay. Because remember, he came to me with a record. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah, yeah right. So in their mind, that's old. That's done. Mm. But I'm saying to them. I Give got, me uh, this. Uh, yeah. Well, but they so said, do something new. Was right? the instrumental on the B-side? No. Oh, it wasn't, right. Okay, so why did they want to um, have m- more vocalists on the jungle? Because they were tired of sampling people. Yeah. And most people just do little gaps. Yeah. You know, and then they play the music. Yeah, yeah It's yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. It's only a few of us came with full songs. Full songs, right. Now you right. find many full songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But them days, eh, the first, just a little gap, the and the MC would write, and, and then just, just music. Let it just, yeah, 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 it's more dance music. Yeah, it's like, yeah, of course. Not songy music. Yeah, right, go on. So you meet them. So they're like, yeah. We want we want you to do something new and I'm goes yeah yeah but I want to do something over the night they go yeah, yeah over the over the gangster community yeah yeah but do something new cool we booked the studio and I won't go into the t- t- too much about why I left the studio but I went there for that day the whole studio was booked for the whole day and I Where? just in Victoria right um, probably a big expensive studio all done and all nice but who's like financing this bro this it... is um this is a good question so this this is probably going to be. Uh, is this all shy? Is this all shy effects dealing with it? Well, not him personally because he's not. But he's, he's, he's coming from his his camp. camp, and maybe my manager's camp. He's doing some. Right. And I mean, they're, they're working together. Right. They yeah. are. Yeah. On doing, okay. Yeah. Right. Because it's, it's so a it's stu- a joint project. It's a joint project. Right. Because like my manager that time he didn't want to just be manager. He uh, wanted he wanted to be, he's a record company <laughs> manager and a publisher. Right. 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 In right. one man. Right. Okay. Cool. Because <laughs> as like, opposed to just having you as like a session singer. Right. Go on. So you go studio in Victoria. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, I go in. And I've done something new, 
That on the on the other rhythm, the gangster no, rhythm. I don't know what rhythm they gave okay, me. Okay, right, right, but right. It never got released. Right. And I said, give me the gangster kid rhythm. At the end of the of the. When session. I done something new, it was, no, no, it was two seconds I done something new for. So this is at the beginning, really. Right, right, right. Because I could, I'm I'm a person I can run lyrics quickly. Right. Bang, and then I do nothing, two takes. Right. And I'm ready to go. And one of the guys who's passed away now, I think he's passed away. Um, he said, "Do you want to hear it back?" And I said, "No." So you recorded Nutter as well on the Gunsmoke thing. Yeah, because they took his vocals out. Right, two on two takes. You two just takes. record it and just left I'm it. I'm that kind of guy. I do two. I do that kind of thing. I do a one take, bang. I done the intro just off the top of my head. Yeah. I was great at intros. Yeah. I mean, I could just do intros. Yeah. Like I done that today, but bang, you know what I mean? I just done it. Yeah. Done it, and I said, "Do you want to hear it back?" I said, "No." I said, "You are mad. You are a nutter." And I goes, "Yeah," because I didn't want to hear my singing. Yeah. When I left, I got home. I knew I'm going to be in trouble, because I've only gone there for like one hour, and the studio's booked for the whole day. Right. So my manager's ringing on the phone. I'm like, oh my God. I goes, I pop the Sorry, Sam. Sorry, Sam. He goes, what have you done about you? What have you done? He's after you. I go, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I know I didn't say that. No, 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 no. What have you done? I said, what are you talking about? Because most of the time when I go to the studio, I do a tune and it don't really do nothing. So you thought he was having a go at you? Yeah. Right. I, I don't really think of a tune. I just leave it because yeah. it's not going to do nothing. You right. know, like it may just go a little bit and it's, yeah. I've done loads of tunes in between. Yeah. And I mean, just vocals and they don't come out or nothing will happen. You, they're going crazy. I said, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, no, no, you've done something amazing there. And I goes, oh, you thought you were going to be in trouble. I go, I oh, know, I'm sorry, I didn't stay all day. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry. And I'm like, okay, come back. I goes, all right then. So I came back and I think I, I, think I came back from... Well, like the same day? Yeah. Yeah. And they played me this tune. They said, they said this. I said, okay, it sounds all right. But you, but you know that every week I talk and yeah, so that, that weekend... The funny thing, that weekend was a massive jungle wave. Now, jungle waves are coming like 10,000 people now. Okay. They're becoming big. Yeah. And Shy FX is already in the in the scene because he's, he's got, got tunes. Name. Yeah. Yeah. And his people have all got the links to all the DJs. So I started doing dubs quickly. For the for original nutter? For the, for the, for the, for, yeah, for the... Um, Straight away? Yeah, because it's a brand new tune. So the DJ's okay. not going to play it. Oh, right. Yeah, this is not a legendary tune yet. Yeah, okay. This is coming out now. So you've got to make dubs to like entice DJs to play it? 100%. So you're like calling their names I out? I give DJ Hype. Big up DJ Hype. Not any word, DJ Hype. You know, big up DJ, whoever, whoever's playing yeah, it. Yeah, so back in the day, this is what you do to try and entice a DJ to play it because he feels like you're calling his name out so he'll run the record. Okay, so go can you imagine that weekend, I couldn't even sleep. I didn't go to the rave. Shy couldn't go, he was too young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wasn't allowed to go to the rave. Yeah. Can you imagine? I didn't know that time because I never even thought of Shy's age. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I you was, cut, how many dubs you cut? I didn't cut it. I just no, but done, how many dubs you do? I don't know, maybe 10. Right, okay. It, it took me two seconds. Right. Because just the singing bit. Yeah, yeah, and, and the rest of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. they put it in. They, they do all the way. It's the first time everything started to come very quickly in one day. Before we had to wait weeks to get anything right, pressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These people have got everything. Yeah. And I mean, they're so they press it the same day? Next day they're pressing the white labels or whatever. Okay, cool, cool, cool. They take it that Friday and they play it and it just gets rewind 100. You know, it just goes off. And from that time. Well, in the rave, it just goes off instantly. Instantly. People have gone mad. And it goes off for me. And this is the My feedback from you. My career now has gone off. Yeah, but this is the feedback because you didn't go to the rave. I didn't go to it. I couldn't sleep that night. I had the white label playing well, on my... On you my... tell me why you couldn't sleep. Because you I was, were playing the record. I was playing the record and I was thinking, is this going to work? Is it not going to oh. work? They're not going to like it. They're gonna, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, so, so you thought so that they... Around, sorry, too much. So what? you thought that they're not going to like this tune? Yeah, I was always negative with my songs. I always think maybe so, people won't like it. Maybe so you couldn't won't. sleep because you were harsh on yourself. Like, no, this is not good. Yeah, I'm always a bit harsh. I'm always harsh saying, no, I like it. But I don't know. You're critical. You're overly critical. I have to see it in front of me to right, believe it. To believe I mean? it. Yeah, you can't, you know. And obviously, there has been so much disappointment before that, trying to make my way, Apache's name come out, you know. All these things yeah. did affect, and other things that affected me with many other things. Um, but boy, straight away after that night, right, you got interview with this person. you got to come down. Now, I'm understanding a bit what fame is now. Right. Because now I've got something massive. I mean, I didn't even know it was going to be 30 years. The manager's telling <laughs> yeah. you, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a hit. I've got yeah. a hit in my hand. They're telling you, yeah, okay, cool. Now I'm, 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 now I'm somebody. Now I don't have to worry about asking people to play tune. Or yeah. Now I'm, you've got this thing. This is hit. It's different. You know what I mean? I'm like, raw, okay. But I don't know my business. I'm trust trusting my manager totally. Sh shows up. And now Jungle's becoming big. Because General Levy just released. Incredible. Where? Uh, after after Nutter or before? Yeah, this Nutter's not released yet. Right, but, but Incredible promote, comes out. Incredible comes out. Bang. Incre Incred Listen, Incredible was unbelievable, bro. So now you imagine now. So what's the... Now the record... Because now they've gone to the record... When they went to the record labels with the white labels and they said, ah, what's this music? We don't care. But now they see what General Levy's tune done. 
everyone's looking at jungle. What's the next one? Right. Original. And perfect timing. <laughs> Origi- and it's really weird because you got you got UK Apache you know, from United so, Kingdom. Sorry to interrupt. It's so mad, yeah. yeah. Right? I'm such. I'm so young. Yeah. I still know that Incredible was number nine seven zero on the box. Look at that. Because I used to just see it, bro. What box was that channel. The, I can't remember that. <laughs> But I just remember, Stuff people used to ring up, 970, 970, 970. Nah, uh, uh, incredible. But go on. Right, so incredible hits. You just slide straight in. It's like it's meant to be. Perfect. It's just set up even, for you even nicely. The way, even the way it came about for me, like you, the name UK Apache being British, like you're UK Apache, right? That works jungle in your favour. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're saying this is jungle British music. Because reggae came from Jamaica. America had hip hop. We'd say we got jungle. Even though Jungle had all different types of music in, the raves are humongous now. Now this music has gone into parties. It's now it's going on to radio. Now it's in clubs. Yeah. And it's it's the birth of urban music, you know? It's... Because reggae was there, but there was no British urban music. You know yeah. what I mean? There was there was the bands that, that like in... you know, bands came from the, you know, Manchester or London, you know what I mean? It wasn't really our music, you know what I mean? The band music. So the rap and the reggae came from abroad. I mean, but now we've got our own music yeah. and open the door for Garage. Yeah, for we're grime. talking about Garage. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's talk about it. Yeah, it's true. It's, you, are the, you are the first brick in this. In this, in this. So the song comes next. Uh, does it get signed straight away? How does, it, how does it work? So now I'm obviously considering an album now. I'm got, cause obviously so they're saying Nutter's a, a banger. It's getting it's played everywhere. Big. Well, like radio. It just won, like, it got Kiss FM. It won, it won something on Kiss FM. Right. Kiss FM are promoting it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's going on mad. But there's no video yet. We're doing a video. We've done a quick video. The video was done in one day. I'm going to talk about the video. So uh, let's just talk about the, the middle. But it's playing everywhere. And they say to you, right, we're going to do a video. And this is your first video? Yes, I think I can remember. Yeah, right, cool. So the video, you do the video, just uh, take me back to the video, your kind of thoughts of what was going on there. I'll be honest with you, the video, I mean, it was a rushed video. Yeah. It was done rushed. Everything was coming in so quickly, I didn't have time to even think. Okay. Honestly, the video was done rushed. We even, but the, the guy who, who uh, produced it is a guy, guy called Webb. He's right. a great producer, you know, he had a great ideas and all that, but it was just done I personally think the video could have been could have been done much better. Yeah, but we're talking thirty years ago, so the even standard. Years I ago, presume, oh, okay. Even thirty years ago, there was other videos that. I but mean, for the, me- for the quality of this track. But the budget, obviously, you got to work with what you got, right? Yeah, I mean, there was there was a lot of issues going on behind my back. So there's many f- deals now I talked about behind my back. Many things going on behind my back. In regards to the song, or just yeah, and me in regards to me, because everybody now they didn't. They, You're they hot wanted, now. You're the hottest yeah, thing. You're it's the, not you about the song. Thing. At that time, it wasn't about the song. Right, it was about UK Apache now. Right, because I had another track called Jungly Skills. Right. Now it's about the song because UK Apache has gone. Yeah, but but you know, um, at that time it was about wow, who's this artist? You are the hottest artist yeah. right now. He's got this track with yeah. Shia Fix, and even Shia Fix, with all, with all due respect, was more like in the background. Yeah, of course, because you were the front man. Yeah, yeah, yeah front, absolutely, absolutely. But in, in in that world, in the producers in the jungle world, they don't like to be the back people. Like producers want to be the, they are the head. Right. You know what I mean? So they, they, to, for a vocalist to come in now. And smash it and just take the limelight. Yeah. A lot of, the, a lot of them um, DJs as well, at one time they didn't like it because they thought, oh, the music, they, 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 they had a tight circuit. Right. Of controlling that music. Yeah. And obviously they've done a lot of work in the music. So, yeah. you know, but I, even I've, I spoke to a few men's now and they said, yeah, we were Im- a few, we, some of us are immature. Yeah, well, obviously, we the young see, at the time. Because what we didn't do, Garage done. Right, When we right. go to that, when we go eventually right. to that, yeah? But obviously, you are the I'm, man I'm, at the moment. You are the I'm hottest the man ticket. At the moment. The I've, hottest gone to America. ticket. I've gone to America, and they've caught, they've wrote my name in um, the New York Times as the British answer to rap. Okay. I never, I never thought I was. Yeah. Because rap, for me, was just amazing, yeah? But that's what they titled me, and it's in, it's in the New York Times. Um, but then all the problems come. You see, when right. you have a hit... We'll talk about the problems in a minute. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. That's okay. Can we just talk about this video? I just want to stem on it. Like, um, okay. When was the last time you saw the video? I saw it long... Well, actually... My... This is 30 years ago. I haven't watched it for a long time. But my, right. my sister threw me a little I, clip the other day. I, I, I would love to watch it with you. We haven't done this before, but I... I, I have we got think... time? We we got we we got all the time in the world, bro. Welcome to the internet, bro. I feel sorry for the for the camera. No, man, man he's a G, bro. How you mean? Right, I'm gonna put it on because it's I probably think probably boring him to death, but no way, bro. Man is in man is in the presence of legends, bro. And I wanted to just well, 
Every put it on the TV. Every man's a legend in his own way, bro. And just see what you think. I can pause it at any point, bro. But just talk me through what's going on. Hold on, this is something I was playing right now. You are being original because nobody's never done this. So, I know. Do you know what? We've never done this. I never we thought was you'd talking actually talk earlier. about this video because I don't really think right, this is much working. of the video. Do you know what I'm well, do you know what? You, there, you there, there might a say that. There is a performance there right, going. Definitely. I, you, gave, I gave you my all. Let me just go to the search. You might think that, but for people like us that saw it at face value, we're not seeing net, we're not seeing the things that maybe you're thinking about. 100%. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So, uh, for I us... I just thought there is original now. So. Oh, look at that, bro. But I, that's How mad. is that on there, bro? Straight away. I have no idea. But right. There you go. The quality is not good. Another I know, reason. I know. The official video is not on YouTube. The, the official song is not on Spotify, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah, there's a reason for okay, it. Okay, well, we're going to get to that. <laughs> so just, just, just talk me through the video. I'm going to put the sound a bit low because we because of like copyright and all that, bro. The copyright thing, this is an advert, bro. Why does YouTube do this to us, bro? And the adverts are getting longer and longer, bro. It's gone from 5 seconds to 50 to 20, bro. They're bumping us, you know. But anyway. Can people actually see this when we're talking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put it on the screen. Good, because right. they're going to be bored. No, no, no. <laughs> Another advert, bro. What the... Right. Yeah, they. Let me just. Unless you pay them the money, they 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 bombard right. you that bit. Here we go. And I'm gonna pause it when when like things come to my mind because I'm taking this first time. It's loading. Are you joking, bro? Is this thing joking, bro? Maybe. Man, I'm gonna deny man the internet, bro. Right now, bro. Let me come off the Wi-Fi on my phone, bro. Okay, before it loads, yeah. The intro is from Goodfellas, yeah. yeah. Who put that in and there? And he passed away. That. Though. Who? Yeah. Who put that in there? One day, Shy effects. Shy effects Shy put effects, that in there. Yeah. So, now, so I know. I, I don't know if anybody suggested it to him, but that's what he... he okay. That's what I know. Uh, legally, <coughs> is that allowed? Because I've always wondered that, bro. Yeah? Uh, you, you're sampling like one of the big American... Is it, bro? I'm not the producer of the track. I'm oh, the vocalist. Okay, so you don't even like... Um, the only way I said... The only way I said it's I'm not the, your problem. The only way I said I produced the track is that it was my idea to put it on that rhythm. Ain't it mad though, yeah? How, he could, he how, could have put another rhythm for it, but Ain't it mad how like the video's not loading, but the adverts were quick, quick to load, isn't it? <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? What, what's going on here, bro? Come on, mate. We got internet. What's that going on? That guy's show you adverts are cheap. Nah, bro. What's going on videos here, bro? Videos cost money, bro. <laughs> Come on, mate. We got internet. It's playing, bro. Look, bro. Look. They're hating on your own video, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? I Bootleggers, bro. Hate on the, on the on legendary videos. What's going on, bro? God, that was a right nut at that time. What is going on? Look, it's right there. Play 3.9 million views, you know. It's not bad for that time. For, for now. I mean, to be honest, obviously that, that video has done way before even internet. So if it was up from, it's going to probably have a lot more. So should, should I just do it on my phone, bro? Because this is like... It's weird, isn't it? We're just, we're just playing. They're hating, bro. These people hate on us. Right, let's do it on the phone. Come here. Right. Hold on. So... Let me just put let me just put this down. We'll do it on phone. Right, listen. What what are you saying, bro? In the intro. But what's it what's the start bit? There. Well, stop it. Actually it comes in a bit late. Yeah, so I know it's it meant to a new name. Yeah. New, new, new name. Yeah. The original or something. Take heed and take check. So just take, take heed and take check is like Take heed and take check. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. So what are you mind. wearing, fam? Okay, so that's a, that's. I used to get my clothes made for me those days. Right. By, that's like by, a by best. Michelle Gibbs. Michelle Gibbs, my my landlady. She was also um, that her profession was to a designer. You you. It looks like bird feathers on a vest, fam. It is a bit, doesn't it? You yeah, are murking it, on, And then obviously the camo, yeah, because it's that army thing, yeah. Yeah, standing. All right. And you know what I love about that? That the kind of cockney, all right, mate, no, yeah, yeah with the, with the patois, Come bro. Come on, you have to bring it in because, I mean, don't get me wrong, obviously, um, Smiley Culture, one of the first people to, to do that, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, 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 have to, I have to follow that up, especially the tune, like, original nutter. Is that Shy FX there? That's Shy FX, In bro. a pink shirt? I don't know if it's a pink shirt, but it looks yeah, pink, brother, it? it looks pink, you know, but yeah. cool. You see, the funny thing about the jungle this that time? Yeah. We used to go to the, they were all into designer clothes. Yeah. We came from the reggae scene. Yeah. We'd make our clothes that it made. Right, right, right. We weren't buying for sergeant at the time. That would change later on for me as well. I went yeah. to, into designer. Right. But we used to get our clothes made. Yeah. So every performance I do, I'll have, I'll have a clothes made. Right. And it's just normal. And then the fade reggae. and the patterns, well, that was just Yeah, in, yeah. I got, my, I got written, original that written in my head that time. And, you know, you are really younger. <laughs> but the video's bad, you know. I don't think that is, uh, that is in good. It's wicked. 
But what else do you want? This video is what you call um, <laughs> it's what you call a thingy. It's, 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 um, How do you feel when you watch this, bro? There's a lot. There's it's tra crazy times. There's a lot of feelings. Different feelings. Tell me the feelings. Because of what happened and many things. Afterwards, there's yeah. like a bitterness. There's a bitterness. But okay, you see that there's there's some water on the screen because what and that's why they want to play it on one of the main TV shows that came on in the night time. It came on late for music. They won't accept it. I've like, never noticed the water. Where would that come from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was raining. There's some right people there. in it. There's some people in this video. They died. Where did you film this video? King's Cross. King's Cross. Yeah. And it's just a party vibe, yeah. Just just we had to advertise on Tro um, Kiss FM. Anybody wants to come down and be in the video, and the people just came. <laughs> what? And they came. Yeah. Yeah, but there's quite a lot of people there, though. Yeah. People turned up. But you see, your energy is mental. mental. It coincides with the nutter. Was that just you in general? That's me, yeah. Because you're performing to the camera. It seems like you've I got a knack M for this. M dot, whatever. I watched him. Right, his energy. He reminds me a bit when I was, you know, when I was that young. Yeah, yeah young yeah. and the passion. Yeah, but it, and the passion. It That's looks, exactly. It, it looks like you got full passion here. I was full into but it. But you see, when you're that time, I'm, I'm living that time. My, I was fully an entertainer. But you see, when I you're in the now, camera, but... it's like some people got to be taught to perform to a camera. No, I was natural. This is like, yeah, people brother, said, yeah, I was it's like, like, just run me. It's like you're, you're born to do it. Bro. I was born to do that, man. Right. Well, I think, not born to do that exactly. I think but do you know what I mean? it's a road where I'm going to go. Like, as a yeah. person, maybe a public figure, it's a, it's, maybe a person we can talk. It's a path you've got to walk down. got to walk down. The yeah. path is made for you. It's made for you. Okay. What else you feel when when you see this? Like I said, it's it's a weird one because um. Now you oh see in the video, yeah. We, like you see this picture here. Look, that's, that's, that was Nelson Mandela. Yeah. I mean, sorry. Malcolm like Nelson, X. Malcolm X. Yeah. That, all those pictures were drawn by David Bowie actually. So but, who, but whose like, idea was that? Mine. Oh, so, so now this you what, had when people when people ask me what original nutter is, what is original nutter? Because that's what they ask me. Yeah. Know, what from, is from around the world, from Japan, do they ask me? And I say original nutter can be a bad man. I mean, but also a person who achieves their goals. Right. That's an original. By any, any means necessary. No. Well, that's another I thing. I just like, added that in. <laughs> that's yeah. what you said. But you know, but you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Like, it's a person. So I, I would give people like, you know, Malcolm X, Martha Luther King, you know. Yeah. Nelson Mandela. Yeah. My grandfather who fought for struggles. You know, Gandhi. People who. Yeah. who done something great. So, so that was your input, yeah? Any yeah. more input of yours or just that was it? Or the rest was director was like that was it. That was I said we need to we need to make this a positive thing because unfortunately at one time when this tune was getting played in the clubs people were going mad like the bad boys were just you know smashing up the club. What? Yeah. I remember one time I had to do it at Carnival when it just came out in Carnival in 1994. Yeah. Was yeah. And I was at this place. <clears throat> yeah. And you know I just went on the on the speaker box. He said go on the speaker box, Apache. And I took the mic and I started doing, it and the people just started to you know when they slam in the middle of his yeah yeah. Mush, 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 mush. You like the you are they the originator mad. of the mosh pit, innit? Yeah, they were going. Man is mad. the originator of the mosh. But, in the but club, I can imagine this tune, bro, doing that. Bro. In the club, bro. In the club, they this smashed would make the club people up. go. This they went was, mad. And I remember once I had, to, I, had to, I had to three times I had to run the tune. I said I, if you do it again, I'm gonna have to stop. And fourth, I had to leave it. I had to leave right, it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just. Watch. <laughs> so I said with the video, we got to show them on the talk that. It's not just a mad thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need some political angles just to show we're more than just... Because the song itself is that, you know, I big up the people at the beginning of the song, like yeah. all the people, bad boys in England, London. And then I talk about I'm the badder than Darth Vader, Skywalker, you know, <laughs> all these dons, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Who have got their own... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man is badder than all of them. <laughs> right, exactly. okay, let's just see the end of this. Do you even recognise yourself here, bro? When you look 30 years later, like in a way of. Obviously, I'm do you recognise that person, like. <laughs> but it's filmed amazingly, really. The angles are, are like. No, I, I told you already, I respect you to um, the producer, right? Um, he's done an amazing job. And then you see the. Where did that come from? Sorry to interrupt. Is well, that, that was just a style. part of the, the style of the yeah, MC? Yeah, at, at that time when I was growing up, all this type of stuff, this singing style, all this rap was the style. You know, like, you, you like say for instance, uh, Wiley's the godfather of um, grime, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. No one can, you know, yeah. deny that. Respect to Wiley anyway, because he called me his father still. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he said but I you are a godfather. <laughs> so basically, um, everybody follows a style, innit? And then you develop your own kind of thing. As yeah. you, but it's always connected. We're all connected, innit? In yeah. this world, everybody's connected. No one right, let's see the end of this. And then the end bit, I am a murderer, brother. It's like, 
Yeah, I've got, I had this thing of doing singing and rapping, I could change the voice. But the way you do it is unbelievable. Uh, yeah, and this tune, definitely, and some other tunes. Like, even the next tune, Junglist Girls, that oh, was good. coming next, right? That may have gone higher in the Let me just thing. absorb this, bro. Yeah. This... Big up Juxi Demas in this as well, because he was on the side. Another great artist, he was standing in the, in the video. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's a weird thing, it's like, this is how the tune was made. I've done it in two tapes, and the video was done in, in like almost that. the same. Yeah. So it was just very quick. Yeah. Yeah, and then obviously. Because I didn't have time, they had to do the video now, and so we've got to get it done now. Just one tape. And then it goes out, and it's. And now you have to understand, I don't know how big this video is getting because I'm not watching MTV because I've got no time. It's on MTV. When you mean no time, why? Are you I'm just... now getting doing interviews and are stuff. Are you working your full-time job at this time? No, I'm now becoming this artist. Yeah, yeah, right, right. I'm right. looking for the deal. Right. Because the deal is coming in front of me now because now all the majors, all the majors don't want to sign me. They, okay, so so the song is independent, the video is done independent. Yes. But now they're coming to you they like, yo, the album. Yeah, we, we the, want yeah. this. And I've got all deals on the table. Um, and... Uh, and then that's where, I mean, a lot of things were happening and people were talking, money, money, you know, people are signing deals on the, on the back of you, like other type of deals where that you're involved in the deal, but it's not for you directly. And all what do you mean? People, I don't understand oh, People have taken work. money. People have taken, I don't want to mention names because I've made kind of peace with these people. Yeah. And money was gone. So all this is going into my head. And I'm thinking, because I'm just performing out everywhere. Every, there's, and I, I'm all the, How much are you making for, like, from, from a show at that time? If you don't mind me asking. Maybe about... Five hundred pound a show, I mean, but you're yeah. doing it all, often though, and that's all. Many you, shows, yeah. too yeah. many shows. Yeah. Yeah. Two everywhere. a night, three a night, even. Not, now the Asian world is open up for me. I didn't even go to Asian raves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they've Obviously. got their own raves, but they they love this tune and they say this. I'm representing them. Yeah, well, because yeah. they don't even know where I'm from. They're thinking this is the first Jamaican Pakistani. But you do look <laughs> like a, yeah. That's what I mean. Like a lot of people, even for me, was like, bro, that brother's Pakistani. Bro. Everybody's confused when they saw the video. Even my best one of my best brethren is a Jamaican, mm. right? Well, he's born in England, but he's black. He goes, when I first saw this song, I thought it was a Yadi. So, because they knew Patchy Indian had the kind of Indian uh, um, reggae thing going together. Yeah, he done that. That was his style. But me, I just sound out Yadi. And the, from and the name is not Indian. It's written in this UK Apache. Exactly. Which no just, one doesn't it's know. Open I'm to from. interpretation. I'm like a mystery. Yeah. So you're doing these raves, banking money now. Good. That must have been nice. Yeah. Finally getting some good amount of money. Five hundred pound in them days. I was. It was good. But I, you know, I would always like my brother David Woman, Me and him shared a flat. I was never tight on money. Like, if, we, if I got a rave and I know he's, we're all struggling, I'd always give him something. Yeah. I mean, take this, brother, take this, brother. Because yeah. it wasn't enough money to say I could put money away. I'm waiting for the deal now. Right. But when the deal came... Right, what deal came to you? So I had these deals on the table. Album right? deals? Yeah, from EMI, with a, a free album deals. Japan, the guy in Japan, I went to Japan. There was a big man what, in Japan. In, in the height of this tune, you went to Japan? Yeah, I went to Japan. And how was that? Ma smacked it. They well, the tune out there, yeah? Ma murdered it, bro. Yeah. I, I went to America. I was taking Jungle everywhere. For right. me, I was the... I the was poster, like, you were the poster child for Jungle. In a way, yeah. Yeah, no, you was. Way, yeah. Obviously, General Levy was doing his thing as well. Yeah. And But I, but General Levy had a bit of beef, you know, and that's another thing you could talk to him about. Beef with, with who? With you? the Jungle. And, no, no, no. Oh, no, with, no. The, with the industry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And they had a bit of beef. So I, But I'm already in with the Junglers. Right. Because of few side effects and all that. Even if they didn't like me, some of them. Yeah, they, ha they have to respect you because you're just too big, bro. You're too big. Going up the against you. big and shy effects. And I mean, he's in, the, he's in the camp. Yeah. So and they give him respect. So... Uh, when you're doing the shows, are you doing them with uh, Shy FX or is he just doing yeah, his own thing? Yeah, he comes along. Right. And, he's, and he, he gets paid he, as well? He gets paid, some, yeah, of course. Yeah. But he's like, <laughs> he didn't like to do this, but he was like play, imitating playing like he's playing a keyboard, but he's oh, not playing. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay, he's not playing. It's just so he's kind of in the background there, but, but he's, he's there. But I'm the main man. But the song, is is it a Shy FX tune or is it a, U, a UK Apache tune? But the tune came out as UK Apache with Shy FX. And at the beginning, we were arguing with him, why do we have to mention Shy FX's name? Because cause we came from reggae. Reggae you, and hip hop, you don't know the producers really. You just see. So we, to us, it was strange, yeah. But in the end, we said, okay, no problem, because the jungle people, the producers, they wanted to be bigger. Right. Than... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the DJs start starting to get their own names, <coughs> yeah, the producers, and this is the. So they wanted to get the same as the yeah. as the artists. Right. This is right? the first time. But at the beginning, we thought that was just you know why, but, but it was UK Apache with Shy FX. Right. Okay. But and I remember the CD Orange. Is it yeah, Orange? that's right. Yeah, I yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Orange, just big writing, no, no. I mean, this picture. tune is just blowing up everywhere now. But okay, the deal comes to me, but I walk away from it. Right, hold on. <laughs> is it out in the shop shit or not? When the yeah, so first of all, it comes out. Can you imagine before it's even a single? Yeah, it gets put on a compilation album. 
for Jetstar. Jetstar were Jetstar's just, massive. Just I know yeah, about and Jetstar. They, they put it on a conversion, and I said to them, "Why did you do that?" Were they allowed to do that? They done it. Who? Who's there? Your no, manager ex- and yeah, Shyfex. No. So they're basically not Shyfex himself, but the, the manager. So okay. Shyfex's team and your manager. They were all having problems. They were all against each other. All hating each other. Why? And all of them were talking to me secretly. Not Shyfex. Shyfex on the side. But his, his person represent Dave Stone was talking to him, yeah, come, I'll take you to America. I'll get you the deal. And they were all kind and of your fighting. your manager's like, come with me. Yeah. So and you're like the hottest draft at the moment. If this yeah. is America. Like... It's very confusing because people, I find out the money's going on, missing on the back of me, promising albums that I haven't, I haven't even agreed on yet. Oh, so labels are offering deals. Your people are taking... But these people are getting their own deal for their label, but I'm involved in the deal, not right. my personal deal. Okay, so, so, so there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes on your behalf. And people are taking money on your behalf. Yes. And you have no clue. No. Until no. I find and out. And you've not agreed nothing. And now everybody's nothing. telling me their business. You know what I mean? And it's very, very confusing. And I say to everybody, you know what? Bye-bye. So you're so hot, people are advancing money. We yeah, want him. of course. And they're speaking to your manager. My your manager's like, yeah, don't worry, brother. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll bring him. And they're taking, how much sums of money are we talking? I don't know. Thousands. Yeah. What? Tens of thousands? Hundreds of thousands? About that, that's that time money was big. That time, not big, now. But, but that, that is life changing money at that at that point, at that time. Of course, it's like getting a million di- million pounds yeah. now. Too, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was you, big things. You could buy a house for like hundred percent. And that mean? was my only dream to help my mum. You know what I mean? Just to set myself but up. Was it nice to give your mum some money, making the five hundreds here and there? Do you know what I mean? Or that wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. No, because I'm living by myself. I'm paying my rent. And I feel like, you know, occasionally, obviously, I buy her things. Yeah. Yeah. But I couldn't give her money until I thought when I get the deal. So, because my my mind wasn't, I always felt, I always always um, was thinking in advance. So it wasn't just about music for me. The next thing was acting. The next thing was comedy. The next, I had TV thing, all this mind, and and it would have been on the t- on the cards for me. So, that's... can you imagine? So I've now found all this rubbish, and I said, you know what, I'm going, I'm leaving it. So all these deals are coming. EMI, whatever, are they coming to you though? Are you seeing these deals? Yeah, I've seen it. Well, through my manager. When and I'm what's with the him. offers? What are they like? I told you, like uh, 30,000 for the first album, 70 for the next, 110 for the next, this kind of thing. Right, big thing. You yeah. are the hottest ticket in, yeah. in, in the whole country. You know bro. how this game works? Yeah, yeah. Once yeah. you step into one place, I know, but you I can go that. into TVs. No, I'm just saying, you can go into films. Of course you can. I wanted to do a film about my life, I wanted to do all this and all that. I had so many things in mind. So I was I was ready for to, to do that that time. So was you just overwhelmed then? My next tune was called Junglist Girls. Obviously I had the looks, you know, I was like a, Come you, on. You know what I mean? Not to say I'm not saying I blow my no. own trumpet, but that's what you know, I had the kind of I had a good package. You had a good package, yeah. Yeah. And I had I had charisma. You looked on stage. different, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. You acted different, you had the energy. I had everything, bro. And I had the big tune. You know what I mean? And the that, biggest. Junglist Girls would have been a big tune. Right. You know what I mean? So that was a follow up. We had we had um Smash It centre page ready for me. Smash Hits magazine was like the thing. The centre page was ready for me. Yeah. But I walked away from everything. I left it. Um, you walk away because it's just overwhelming. And I don't trust nobody. You just lost trust in your manager. Everybody. Everybody around you. Everybody. Shy effects is lot. Yeah. Because, everybody. but then the song goes out though. So how does that song get signed then and go out? Because it's in the shops. Remember, they, re- they release it. They release a song by, as a single. Who? Who's they? Your, so you, your my, manager? My manager? Yeah, my manager. Because I've signed a deal for the one single. I've oh, signed, you signed it? Yes. Okay, so you, so you got I a separate said, piece of paper. Yeah, I signed the deal. And you didn't know what you were signing? No. In regards to ownership, percentage? I didn't understand it. You didn't understand it? No, I didn't have no one represent me. Looking back, it. why did you sign it? Just out of trust and love? Trust and love. Because the way I was close to my manager is like, we used to have breakfast every morning, everything. Mm. But I... I've, like I said, I've, I've made peace with that. No, but, I understand, but yeah, we, got, we still got to understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you, obviously, you've, you've come up with the manager. He's brought you the song. You've got full trust in him. He's like, yo, sign that, bruv. That's for the single. But you didn't ask him how much money it was, nothing. No. Nah. You just, just signed it. Yeah, because it, the single was going to make money, and it made a lot of money through, you know, L, through record sales. But the album was going to, the album deals are the real money. So this was a single deal only? Yes. Right, okay. You sign it. The song comes out. It's pressed. Does it? It, it does it chart? It charts. Uh, charts just uh, they, they got the count wrong as well. What do you mean the count wrong? They, they, they didn't get the count right to see how far it went into the charts, but it went in top forty. Okay, amazing. The, the songs everywhere. Um, On CD as well. CDs. Yeah, yeah I, 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 that's what I remember. The CD, yeah. the orange CD. Um, it goes out, but you're not really seeing no money from there. No, no, no. No, no revenue. You're getting your show money. 
Yeah. But that's it. Yeah. You're not seeing none of that. No. Um, so when do you start to question, like, hold on, bro, where's my money here? No, I, I'm looking for the deal now. But now, the big deal. Yeah, of course. I'm not concerned about this yet, you know what I mean? Because I'm concerned about, let me sign them for the album. Because <clears throat> I'm thinking about the future. The next song, Jungle Girl, is ready to go. So when do you find out that, hold on, your manager's not really... Well, this time. When all so, this is going on, I find out all madness is going on from different different places. You find out what well, just word about people around you, yeah. or just word of mouth. Yeah. Okay, cool. And, and people in in I'm speaking to the people directly from. Are you the labels now and speaking and they're saying and the labels are going hold on you've signed this paperwork and, or the, you, you know uh, um, blah blah got this on the back foot for, for this and for that. I go <laughs> okay, and this is the weirdest thing because. Um, well, it was just written that way, and that was it. So when I, after a while, I said, you know what? I'm, I thought, you know, when you're that, my mindset thinking, it will wait for me. Like you know, I can, I can leave. Yeah. Yeah, but nothing ever waits, does it? So, but that's what I did. So I said, right, let me walk away. And people, my close friends were really, some of them were really upset with me. So because I know the struggle we got to get there. Of course, and you're there, or you're on the tip I'm of there, the. And they said, why are you walking but away? You see, Even Shy came to me with another tune. I have to say that he came with a tune that me and MC Det did. You know, it was a big don at that time. Was, MC Debt, come on. Debt yeah. and Brocky, come on. We had a on. bad tune. Yeah. And I said, I'm not going to do it because what happened, when I walked away, I didn't, you know, I said, well, I'm not going to turn to drugs. I'm not going to turn to women, but I turned to my faith. Yeah, we're talking, I'm, yeah. I, I am going to come to that. At that time, are you doing drugs? Are you doing anything like that? No, no, no. I, I stopped. I, when I Weed was, smoking? Not at all. I was, I was, from I was 16, I gave up all that. Right, Seven, right, 16, right. 17. Alcohol. Nothing. Right. I mean, so I'm now. Just from, nutter vibes. I'm fit, because I'm, I'm with my, my good friend from, like I said, that time from way back. We're friends up to the end, into, mm. to, even mm. to today. Right. right. And he's physically fit. So I see him, how look, he looks fit. He, he doesn't smoke. Mm. I said, you're Jamaican. I thought all Jamaicans. Smoke. You know when you're in black, you're mm. 14, 15, 30, and you don't know nothing. Yeah. But he didn't smoke. He didn't drink. And I said, I need to be like that. Um, so, so just talk about the paperwork. Do you have, did you sign away all your rights or something? To original nutter, yes. Yes. You had signed it all away. Up to a point, yeah. Ownership, PRS, everything. At that time, but yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Who did, you, who did you sign to? Your manager? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So your manager has basically taken all of your money. Ooh. Yeah, that's, 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 that's. Well, and, it's not just, and, it's, I wouldn't and say when it's just, there was, was a few people involved as well, because remember the other side have taken what they need to take. Shy FX's side has taken, but that, they, they would have, what is it, half, half? There was some cut like that, but people were doing things. You see, the, the funny thing, just even though Shy FX had somebody represented him, that same person who represented him wanted to, wanted to deal with me, because he could see, you know, at that but time, j- j- I'm, I'm, you know, he wants to control, he wants to, have the power of as me as far well. as you're aware did does did um does shy effects keep his side or did his manager bump him i don't know no no shy effects keeps his side I think. okay he so, so the thing about shy so effects you're right, the only one wronged here yeah the, what shy effects did go through a, f- a few things with some things because of like how the how the mu- how the music was selling sometimes through distribution companies you know when they press the labels you don't know how much they're getting on the side you know what i mean or he told me he had issues with that that issue but, but but from your sorry, but from your point of view, your manager has basically taken your entire catalogue. That that song, he owns it. Well, there's a dispute about this now. Now, but in that contract. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that's unbelievable. And do you know what? From that, you're so heartbroken about the industry, you just walk away. You, you don't. You, you don't want. From none. all that madness and confusement, I said, right, well, I'm gonna leave. You do a Dave Chappelle and just leave. Believe me, I did yeah. Dave Chappelle. I said, Dave Chappelle came back. Yeah, but, me, but I never. No, got but back. I'm saying, but that, <laughs> yeah. but that must have been. Was that an easy thing to do to just walk away? Very hard. Yeah, because like psychologically, it must but have been. Me, I was, I was, I was in that mode. You must thinking, have been heartbroken. You got the biggest song out there. You can walk into any club, absolutely smash it with tens of thousands of people, but yet someone's taken all of your money. Yeah, it was. It was I wanted to own the rights to my own song. And then realising that you, you, you shouldn't be um, a manager, a publishing company and a record label all in one. It actually doesn't do justice because if you're a manager for me, you're, you, the manager's meant to argue with the record label <laughs> yeah. and the publishing company or whatever, you know what I mean, and get the deal for so you. So this guy's taken all your rights to this song. At that time, it was normal for people to do that, but it was wrong. Right, it was right. Wrong. But you're saying you're still in dispute 30 years later. 30 years even now, there's other, but not just with, not with just, not, I mean, I'm talking with him. You know what I mean? But with other people who claim to have parts of this song saying it comes from this, it comes from that. And oh, all. It's because it's so big, they're saying the origins of this yeah, came from us. Yeah, some of the us. vocals. Just a little bit of the melody, they say it comes from a song. And, that, and that's in dispute. So it's just, it's just a big 
clusterfuck really in it yeah um it's even till today and it's 30 years this year not it's 30 years this year yeah we're gonna talk about 30 years um so, yeah man that's 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 really heartbreaking how a song is can be so iconic a part of british culture <laughs> uh you are the the kind of the, the the face of it and yet you sit here and it's like you don't own you don't own a no. dime of it you need, i never you, really, really got paid from original art. you know you're talking all my pay from original art is me working hard working, jumping on stage jumping on and stage and getting paid at that time um, you know you're talking to the manager guy now. That's why it's so heartbreaking, really, in a way, because, it's, it's, like what you said, when I see the video, I see it, it brings back memories, you know, they were very deep memories, and at that time... It's happy at the time, but then you know what's happened since then, what, what's transpired, so it's like, it's bittersweet, isn't it? I mean, now nah, the songs, I mean, at one, they done, they done something on Radio 1, Asia, A, um, uh, Nihau. Yeah, Nihau, um, big, big up Bobby Nihau. Fiction. Yeah, Bobby, big up yeah, Bobby, Bobby as well. Yeah, Come Bobby on, Fiction. he done respect, man. He Nihau and Bobby Fiction, legends in the game. He done a, a a show called Legends in the Game. Right. So he done one on me, and uh, obviously I wasn't on the show. He just got people to talk about me, like Bad Master Shri. I worked with a band called, but and some other people. And there was another guy who who was who gave his um his understanding on on UK Apache, and he broke me down amazingly. He he explained my situation amazing, and he ex he said it that you know Apache had this career where he walked away because of many things, blah, blah, blah. But Apache uh, himself left the game, but his music, it lived on. I, oh, no, no, I mean, hold on. <laughs> there is no dispute. There is zero dispute. And that song will never die. It will never die. It's impossible. Yeah, yeah? unless God wills it. it. It's so big. Um, <laughs> I mean, as an artist, yeah. a, I'm, I'm an artist. The dream is to have a song that could... Not even get a number one and all that. I think you want you want history. You want you want to be a part of history and to have a song that transpires through generations, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Thirty years. You can even now walk into I'll say ninety five percent, ninety nine percent of a rave anywhere. Don't matter what genre they're playing. Yeah. And if you PA that tune, it will go absolutely nuts. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the same as remixes. So people playing their own style. I mean, you've got different remixes. Um, uh, bootlegs now, people don't mind. They just um, bootleg it and they play in their own style. And you, the original stands out, obviously, still. Yeah, yeah. Are you cool with Shy FX then? Yeah, yeah, me and Shy FX speak, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Really cool, yeah. Were you always cool? Because when that deal happened, you no, must have No, at one stage we wasn't. We went through a rough period, you know, which I didn't really want to, like, communicate with nobody at that who was around that me. was just you. you you just felt so dis disheartened you just, anyone associated well, with music well I didn't know what was going on like I didn't know and then you know people obviously Shyfex is doing his thing he releases it on his album which he had the choice to do because his deal was with your manager yeah yeah he's built his deal with his, his side but can so, you blame him though no 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 right when I say this I don't say I'm just trying to show so he does what I wa was meant to do right with my album you know what I mean and and that in a way Make, confuses a lot of people thinking that I'm just like a featuring artist with Shy FX, mm. which I wasn't. Mm. And, and 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 this is what I saw over the years now. Apart from not having the deal, walking away from the dream, the tune, how it started to get looked at and talked about on radio and played, was all mostly credited to Shy FX. And Apache was featuring. But was that because you took a step back though? So 100%. he kind of had no choice because you yeah, weren't yeah. around anyway. Yeah, yeah. So he so so he may as well take that tune really for himself because yeah. because you don't want a part of it anyway. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's you know not like I didn't want a part of the tune. Yeah, but because of what happened, you walked away, yeah. so you don't so, want a part of it. You, yeah, you yeah. said, I don't so want... So it's not me, like, I don't you want... You washed your hands from it. Yeah, I walked away out of out of hurt yeah. and many things. Yeah. So it wasn't like I'd done that deliberately. Yeah, of course. I'd done it... Even Shai said to me, you probably done the best thing because he thought the album wouldn't, wouldn't have been that great. Whatever. Shoulda, but, woulda, coulda. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because, I mean, maybe because he only had a few tracks on it. But, but, but saying that... But could you have not... <clears> um, could you have not taken the album deal and then just washed away and then made tunes that are, or tried to make tunes that are bigger and but better. But if I was in that, in, if, I, if I would have carried on, yeah. Yeah, and I don't want to say if because whatever God decides is the best decision, yeah. right? So no matter what could have, it, that doesn't matter. But I wouldn't have stayed into just into jungle because when you usually come from an underground music and at that time the junglers, even the main junglers DJs and which you needed to promote a tune that time, not now, they still have now but generally you can use, you know, TikTok and those and um, they were already making decisions to take out Raga out of Jungle because that, a lot of bad things were happening in the what, Jungle Raid. What in Raid? Like what? Just like violence. how you see with the, yeah, the violence, that like you see what happens with Drill and Grime. 
It happened in the jungle. People were going there, getting robbed. People were getting stabbed, and they kind of blamed it on the reggae. I but mean, they always blame it on garage. They were blaming it on on, on like so <coughs> solid on in the, on grime. They were blaming it on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The so at, the no, but that time they do it with for drill me. Now. But as an artist as well, I came from reggae, so I I I have to do full on reggae music as well. I'd have done other tunes. I like to be. So a full did you not want to just leave jungle and like go? The tune we've done. <laughs> Come on, we're going to talk about that. Did you not want to just leave Jungle and then go, go back into reggae? Because you weren't meant to be in Jungle, maybe. No, I, I, I felt very connected to Jungle. I, to come, I tried to come back after a while. I didn't just... Oh, so, yeah, you, yeah. so you took... A, yeah, but you were hurting, innit? So you took years out of the game. I took a few years out first. Yeah. And then I came At back... At your peak. Yeah. Which, you know, when you've got a massive tune, that's the time to push the other tunes that's yeah. connected. It's, it's oh, the yeah. time. Yeah, the I mean, window's well and truly open. This, yeah, this even is, though Jungle's come back around again, it hasn't come back like that. I mean, it will never come back like that. But saying that, um, uh, I tried to come back in with a new manager, new thing, and we done a few things, but it just wasn't too late. It was too late. The opportunity. Um, you say you're speaking to that old manager still. Can you not resolve this? I've tried to resolve it many and, times. And what's he say? No. No, we tried to come to the people, but everybody, everybody. But what do you mean if it? There's if, a lot of people involved, and sometimes it doesn't But why? Involved. If he owns the tune, can't he just go, all right, bro, no, let's is, half the cut there, I'll <coughs> give you half It's not about that. So, the tune is being frozen because other people claim on it saying that they they were part of it. Oh, the previous people. So, so there's other... Yeah, but I'm saying, can't you do it one one thing at a time? Can't you speak to the manager if you're talking to him now? He, he can give you your yeah, percentage Yeah, we, we try back. to do that, but I'm saying that other but, people are not playing games, so we have to deal with them first. So basically, there's so much legal entanglement, yes. you just, you're just done with it. Every time I try to come to the fence, and just recently I've come so close, and now everybody ghosts. Everybody just ghosts. Everybody ghosts. And you just disheartened with the whole legal. But five years ago we done Nutter twenty five. Me and Shaq. I'm going to talk. Yeah. So original <laughs> Nutter twenty five. Twenty five years. With Idris Elba comes out. Yeah. How did how did how did how did you work something that, there then? So twenty five years now. The weirdest thing about it when you know what happened when I left the music scene, right? When I left it uh, really. At the stage where my mum, she, my mum had diabetes, right, and basically she found out she got cancer, right. So they gave her three months to live, but she lived for one year. I left the game totally. Then every bit of music. I had so many gigs. I just come up from a gig in Holland. What year was this? So my mum died in two thousand and nine. Right. So this is two thousand and eight. Mm. I left the scene properly. I was just performing that at that time and doing some drum and bass tracks here right. and there. Right. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I work. I was working before that with a band as well, Bad Martian Shri. Right. And we was doing the band thing. Yeah. Which was great. But it wasn't UK Apache, it was just Bad Mushy featuring UK Apache. Yeah. We had some big hits. Yeah. But um <clears throat> like Signs mm. and Get Up, big songs. I mean a great great time. Touring the world. We've done many gigs. Mm. It was cool. And one of the tracks at that of the of the track signs got remixed into drum and bass. Right. And they used a little vocal by a guy called Cab uh, Cabala, um, Calibre. Right. And he took a my, bit of my rap and he put and this tune was getting played everywhere in the drum and bass. So yeah. now people hear my voice again with this not still there, and the, but jungle's gone down. Yeah. But the scene, when I say gone down, it's not commercial, of course, but it's still getting, you know. So my voice is getting played through this track. <clears throat> um, I'm just doing uh, these performances with, with, this, with this band, and then we come to an end. And I go back into the drum and bass scene, start working with a guy called DJ Fantasy, big up. Come on, Fantasy. You know, from he's the one who created S A S A S A S. So me and him have been working. What's this? How long is, it, is this recent? More recent? No, this is before S A S A S A S. Right, 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 right. And we were working just after I left Bad Martian Shri. We worked many gigs. So you left the industry and then you come back in? Yeah. Yeah. But then in 2008, my mum found out she got cancer. And the last gig I did before I left the scene again to look after my mum was in Poland. And that Polish producer, um, promoter gave me so many gigs, but I didn't. I just ignored him. I didn't even contact him because my mum. When I found my mum had cancer, I said, "Right, I got. I got to look after my mum. I don't care." Of course, of course. And I looked after my mum from the beginning to the end, and she died in my hands. May Allah bless her soul. I mean, so, um, and I looked after. You know, done everything I needed to do, you know, as a carer. And I mean, as a son. You know, I haven't said to my mum, "Low, you know, if, you know, if I've hurt you in any way, if I've done anything wrong, which everybody does, do you forgive me?" She she says, "I forgive you, son." That was great. So I looked after her and then she died by Allah because every soul would taste death in the Quran and until us it shall return. So we all got to die. It doesn't matter who you think you are. Um, so I was obviously, I'm prepared, I know that we all got to die. But obviously when your mum dies and I'm a single child, anybody's mum, you know, to me my mum, she was the light. Mm. You know, no woman's better than her. Mm. You know, 
So we should always honour our mothers and fathers the best we can, no matter what they do, it doesn't matter, you can't repay them. And then my grandmother was left. <clears throat> and I looked after my grandmother next. My grandmother was a different type of woman. Mm. Yeah, I looked after her for 12 years with my, by myself. Mm. And that was very difficult. Mm. My mum was difficult, but I know God was preparing me for something else. Because I wouldn't put my grandmother or my mum in a care home. Yeah. No. Yeah. Even though sometimes my grandmother would go in the care home for, for when I take a rest. Mm. But she was with me. I looked after her my hands, washed her, cleaned her, mm. fed her, gave her medicines. She went mad as well. She had dementia. It was very difficult. Near the end of that time, I was finding it hard to, to, to look after her by myself. It was, I was doing a five people's job. You know, it was mad. Most of my family, all my family, they left. They, they, they couldn't help me. Mm. They had their reasons. They couldn't help me. I said, oh, I'm going to have to do it myself. So I'd done it all myself, everything. And um, at the end, it was getting very, very difficult. I needed ex more uh, money to get more help because the counts don't help you enough. Mm. So for the only way I can do that, I've got to go back in the scene. Can you imagine? I've left the scene. I've done all talks, Islamic talks for the youth, you know, getting hassled by the police, by the MI5, by everybody. <laughs> I'm getting mm. stopped. Yeah, was, I'm going to come with it. All Islam. that madness. Yeah, there's a lot to talk about. So yeah. I'm trying to rush it through. No, no, no. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, so I've, 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 I've said, right, I need to get back into the game. But at that time, when I go back into the game, it's 25 years of original. It just dropped like that. Original, like it was, yeah. God's, it was God's will. Yeah. I spoke to Shai. He goes, yeah, yeah, we'll do something. We, you know, he goes, okay, we'll, we'll get the remix done as well. I said, cool. He said, okay. Said, Chasing well, status remix, right? Yeah, this time Chasing status remix is already being done. And okay. I didn't even know, to be honest. Right. Yeah, because I know there's some dubs that was getting played. Yeah. Um, but Shai said, you can re-vocal the original again. He goes, okay, I'm going to try. Went to the studio, squeezed my balls. I said, squeeze my balls, you know. Get to that pitch, brother. But it, it sounds <coughs> just like the original. No, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it does. But it was an effort. It right. wasn't simple. Because the original was done at a time with a certain type of flow, certain type of... Can I just ask, why Why is the original not on Spotify or hmm? on, 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 on kind of YouTube? Is it just because of these ongoing battles? Yeah, yeah. It had as far as you're aware. It had to get taken down. Why? Oh, what? With Shy Effects? And, like, because Shai, you're out of the picture, yeah, right? Yeah, had to get taken down. Yeah. Right. Shy took it down. Shy had his business... By this time and now, shy has got his business locked down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the reason why I was going to say this one before, his family already in the music business. Yeah. You know? His dad was a famous singer in reggae. Okay. His, Who's not, his dad? I can't remember. Famous oh, reggae singer. Okay. I mean, I only found this out later. Mm. Well, my family weren't in the music business. They yeah. were in other business. Yeah. So I didn't have nobody really, you know what I mean? He probably to guide had you, it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He had, his mum knew about the business, but you know, he's raised in that. Yeah. And he studied music business. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why he was in sound in the first place. He was on a work experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then <laughs> to mad. do the 25 years, um, do mm. you get some money from that now? Yes. Oh, you do? So you've got the re... There's like a re-vocal thing in it, like a cover. Is it, mm. is it a cover then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I get, I, money when, I get money when I perform. No, but I'm saying the actual song, like... No, that, that, it's that classified was... classified as a cover. Yeah, it's a cover, but it's, re it's redone. Yeah. Yeah, so re-vocal. Yeah, so if but you I redo get, I get it, money from like performing. Okay, but you don't get the rights to that to that twenty five Well, it goes into the pot in it of the What dispute, pot? Who's dispute. pot? There's the pot that's it goes into dispute in, that. into a dispute pot that's still mm. not resolved. So there's a lot of money sitting some, in a pot some somewhere. Of it, yeah, goes most of it goes there, yeah. So there's a pot right now with a lot of money in it that just arguments. I don't know how much it is, but there's some there's an amount. And you've got none of it so far? No. Wow. And it's just sitting there. And then it just. I'm trying my best. Uh, Shai knew a link for it. it, 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 it I've never met him yet. Yeah. And funny enough, he even played Nelson Mandela in his autobiography. Right, yes. And he doesn't, he's never met me. Mad, mad, mad. So Idris Elba does the thing that comes. Which out. I, to be honest, I don't know if I wanted Idris Elba at the beginning because I. Th yeah, but I. But it I'm make guessing a the Goodfella sample so big you can't be used, or maybe there's a lot of money to be given out when you don't need to. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no, I respect what he done. It sound good. It does sound but good. But nothing can't test. <laughs> well, because it's a moment in time. When you, when you, yeah, it's a moment yeah, in time. But the yeah. good fellas. I mean, if I perform now, I, I walk on with the um, with the original. Okay. One day, some of the kids yeah, but everyone knows that. Bad. Everyone knows it's that. It's not just that. It's it, the words. But it's you see what Idris Elba said, right? He said, sorry to cut you. He said, you know what I mean? When I go in the dance, yeah, the dancers yeah, don't yeah. kiss me. Yeah. You know why? It's out of respect. But when you say, one day some of the kids in the neighbourhood. So, <laughs> and I remember the yeah. film, obviously. From but good... but you've got to understand. No, you've respect got a, to You've got a 25-year head start, bro. So if you play that in the dance, before you even walk out, everybody knows what's about to happen. Yeah, Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? So, but even now, you... you... They're both bad. I, I perform with both of them. I've done, I've done, I've done PAs with both of them. Uh, yeah. Let me just talk about PAs. So when I re-vocal, yeah, I've done, done a new intro. I mean, changed a few of the words. 
you yeah, know, everlasting yeah. name. Yeah, you get yeah, me. Yeah, to show that this everlasting is everlasting name. You know what I mean, yeah. so all I'm, right, mate, stop gassing. Yeah, when people them, people them, <laughs> them lasting, everlasting. <laughs> hey, I'll smash my own studio. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just you know, feel. But, like, but vocally, you you are. Have you carried that on? Is it's just in you? Do you think that's just me. God given? <laughs> It's God given. It is dear, because yeah. you haven't you haven't nurtured it, have you? Look, you just... Good or bad, Allah gave me this title, the original nutter. Hundred percent. Like I said, there's many nutters, but there's only one original nutter. Yeah. You know what I mean, but I'm saying like you. People can... get confused. They used to think Shy Fix is you know, when he's performing or whatever. They put him Shy Fix, the original nutter, and uh, it's it's not. But because can't I don't you... say we are the original. And the tune I said, me are the nutter. But can't you talk to Shy Fix about that and say, bro, like come on, like. No, I, I can't be bothered no more. Like I did mention a few times to him. But uh, it's not. I don't know if he like if he. You if think he, the egg is too golden? He just sometimes in be... this game, uh, you know, promoters just put where they want to put up, and you can't really tell them to to take it down. So I won't say I won't say Shy FX is fault. Do you so think I mean, you could have maybe fought your corner a bit more and still been out there and created a name for yourself despite all this bullshit? No, the thing is, what what it was right at one stage, I I had the will to do that, and after a while, I think when I got looked into my faith and then all the all the issues with the halal and haram and all these kind of things. And I, I just said to myself, you know, it's just, it's just, and I just lost the, I lost the, the passion to do it because, of, yeah, I lost the fight. And I said, you know what, it's cool. The tune does it, what it does. I mean, and I'm really not as bothered as, as I used to be now. Well, obviously it's been 30 years, so yeah, I would, I would feel hurt for you if you still had it on uh, the forefront no. of your life. Sometimes it, because it can <laughs> consume you, can't it? That, that type of negativity 100%. will consume your whole life, bro. 100%. And then you got, you've People had no life. People commit just suicide been bitter. over these things. But not me, because I've got Allah. This, this is the difference, you know. This life is just temporary. So, perfect way to talk about this. Mm. You turn to God, Islam. Mm. When did that happen? Why did that happen? So, obviously, my mum was always trying to teach me Islam. Right. I was a bit of a rebel when I was young. But I always believed in God. As a, I never believed in an idol. But coming from South Africa, was there a, a lot of Muslims there? Yeah, there's a lot of Muslims okay. in South Africa. Yeah, they're okay. very serious there. Yeah. So, you've got a lot of Muslims in South Africa. Uh, so, my mum was Muslim. Also, my dad is Muslim. Arab, Arabic, Iraqi, you know. And uh, in, in my household, they were religious. My mum was getting religious more as she got older and stuff. And me as well, when, you know, when this thing happened, the, like I said, the nutter thing, basically, um, I turned to Allah at that time, you know, to get the answer about the purpose of life and what's, what's me, my purpose and, you know, mm. and when you go through issues, you know. So obviously there's a verse in the Quran that says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ جِنَّ وَإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ uh, I've not created. I've only created the jinn, which is a creation of Allah, uh, and mankind, which is man and woman, uh, only to worship me. You know what I mean? And that means that you know, if you get a job or you you know you get married or you live your life, but you live it in a life that that the way uh, Allah is pleased with as best as possible. So so you so, so you go into Islam, you go into it deep, shall we say? Oh uh, yeah, at the beginning, you, I get you deep. study a lot. I study a lot, yeah, throughout the years. I started, that's when the journey started, really, for me to study and stuff and really understand what is Islam, you know, because I didn't really know it, you know, uh, uh, as much as, alhamdulillah, I know a bit now more. Um, and just, you know, see what is it based on and is this life just becoming... I knew this life wasn't just becoming... Because, like I said, for me, music wasn't about becoming famous. It was more to do with a message. So now Islam's a message as well. So, okay, so we'll learn about the prophets, you know, from Adam to Moses to Jesus and all the prophets that we follow, and Muhammad, peace be upon him, the last one, and uh, realize their mission in life about living a, a kind of, you know, an Islamic based life. Mm. Um, how, how long has it been since you've been deep in Islam? How long? Well, you could say, let's just say it started from 1994. Okay. But time. I was before that as I went a little bit coming because these um, it was really funny. I was in my house and was with David Bum at that time because he became Muslim as well. Uh, I don't know if he's still Muslim now, but he, he became Muslim. And uh, some tablighi, you know, the tablighi group, they're, they're like a big Muslim set mm. and they knock on people's doors and stuff, inviting Muslims back to the to the masjid or mm. the mosque. Say, mm. And uh, they came and knocking on my door and I would run away from the door. And my mum said, Go and answer the door. And I said, mm. Okay, let me answer the door. So they answered the door. They said, Salam alaikum. I'm like, Yeah, alaikum salam. Where are you? I goes, I'm here, right in front of you. He goes, Oh, no, no, why are you not at the masjid? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, was, I said, Why? Yeah, I said, He goes, You must come. He goes, What's your name? I said, Abdul Wahab. He goes, MashaAllah, you know, Abdul Wahab. Ah, good name. Come to, the, come to the mosque. Come to the And I'm like, When? He goes, Now. He goes, Now. And my mum's like, go, go. And David's like, yeah, let's go, go. And I'm like, oh, okay, then. Now, I would go, but I didn't want to go. And I was more yeah. into, yeah. 
So I ended up in the masjid that time and um, kind of the journey started as well then, you know, that I started to stay there more often. And uh, one time I was in the masjid and uh, they asked me to do a little bit of singing. And I said, because you're a singer, isn't it? I said, yeah, yeah, I do. He said, you're singing. Said, yeah, do something because we're in the masjid. He goes, yeah, no music, just just your voice. So I've done this lyrics called Salam Alaikum. Salam Alaikum and Waliyakum Salama. So may greet me by the sister. And they loved it. <laughs> so the reggae vibe with the, okay. <laughs> yeah, they loved it. Wow. So, so then, I'm, then they're like, can you do Adhan? And I goes, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. You know, and they're like, they're like, they're like, you need to be the Mu'addin. You know, Mu'addin is a person who calls the Adhan. Yeah. So I said, all right then. So, so you got, you got the God-given voice, So yeah. I became the Mu'addin. So I said, this is deep. So, but I always had a feeling about being Mu'addin, like the caller, you know, at the beginning. Because so, uh, there was a dream that was told to me, which I never I never actually believed. I don't even know now, but there was a dream that was told to me. Anyway, so basically, I started to call the Adhan. I was That's doing, a great honour, isn't it? It's a great honour. Privilege, Adhan yeah. is, a big, is a big title. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I do that every Friday as well. For the Jummah prayers, you know, like the gathering, like how the mm. Christians have on a Sunday, is that we go on a Friday, Muslims go on Friday, and uh, I've done that. And then from that as well, I started to obviously memorize Quran and stuff like that. You memorized it? Yeah, or not, not, not starting. Started slowly, how, how, le learning, learning the alphabet. How far? Oh, yeah, go <clears throat> And stuff like that, because you've got to start from the beginning. Mm. Um, and then occasionally I would actually sometimes lead the prayer, you know. I wasn't no good at it that time, straight away at the beginning. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then, um, but at that time I was still doing music again, right? I haven't given up music. Was you conflicted then because obviously music and Islam, yeah, I was stunned because I didn't know music was like had opinions on it, like right. if it was halal, haram, or that kind of thing, you know? yeah. So then I would just think, oh, okay, you know, um, uh, there's 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 different issues on this issue, yeah. And the main issue is like obviously, well, being in those in those environments and stuff like that. It's not really permissible for a Muslim to be around the drinking, the mixing, you know, the party kind of thing. Right? That's not halal, is it? So this was conflicting, but I would make my money that way as well. So it was quite difficult. So how do you navigate that? So I was just like, and I would still be praying and performing, you know, mm. and thinking at the moment, I was trying to look for some other work, but it just wasn't happening, mm. you know. So I thought, okay, I just got to try to live this life and still pray and Allah will make a way for me. And then my mum got ill. So that for me was the way as well, because I said, Allah, make a way for me to leave, totally. And my mum got ill. So my mum said, you can become my carer. I said, okay, yeah, of course I can. You know, you paid your money. She goes, you paid our money. You can and I became my mum's carer. And that took the wages, in a sense of. Right. It wasn't like making music money, yeah. but yeah. So, you know, music, Islam, um, how do people respond? Because they might, they might say, oh, look, you're doing a, a, a darn app, um at the masjid, how can you do music, bro? Do you always get people kind of asking you or saying you shouldn't be do X, Y, Z? See, because at, at that time, because I, I'm not doing that now. Yeah. Now I, I do more things now. But that's what I mean, even more things I've, now. I've, yeah, I've gone further now. But at that time, yeah, I was doing obviously adhan in the daytime and in the nighttime, I was doing so like a day of like, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, and then night, and then you know, but so it's because some people would Islam say that well, that's that's wrong to do. Definitely, you know I mean? and I would never disagree with people you know or the opinion of islam you know i can't disagree what islam says is right or wrong but there's also a thing called necessities you know uh, out of need you know so my situation you know had has fallen into that sometimes so you yeah because but you need like the money before because i need the money to survive but then obviously my mom get, became ill i became a carer so that provided the money so i left it you know, and I was looking after my mum for that one year. She died, she lived for you know for three months, but she um, they they said for, she's gonna live for three months, but she lived for one year. I was there beside her bed when she died in the hospital, and I hugged her and everything, and she died in my arms. Um, and then my grandmother, like I said, I started looking after my grandma, so I was full time care for my grandmother. And in that time, at the beginning, when I was looking after my grandmother, she wasn't so bad. She became bad later on. So I studied Arabic. I went more deep into the Arabic, studied the language. Uh, managed to take a trip to Egypt, was on a course there, on a scholarship. I didn't manage to finish it because I had to come back, but I gained much more knowledge on the Arabic language. I'm not fluent, but I understand a lot. I understand more of the Quran. Started memorizing more. You know, I, I memorized a big portion, and then eventually. How much have you mem? How much have you memorized? Don't mind me asking. 
Well, my memorization is a bit weird because I started all different places. Like, right. I started from my Sheikh, Sheikh Abdul Qadir, may Allah, may Allah bless him, and also Imam Sharif from uh, Mu'allim Sharif uh, from Brixton Masjid. Who they're all they're, these uh, these two sheikhs are all scholars in 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 their in their own right or or people of knowledge. They won't call themselves scholars, but they're people of great knowledge of good knowledge. Um, I done bits and bits with them, but mostly with Sheikh Abdul Qadir. Um, so I've done that part, the last part where most people memorize in the Quran is called the Juz. Juz is, you know, so you've got 30 Juz in the Quran. Mm. And the last part, Juz Amma, you know. Um, so I, I memorized all that. And that's mostly people start with that because you have me, mostly medium to small surahs. And, and in those surahs, you have the tools that you need mm. to go to the bigger ones, like the, the ones at the beginning, yeah. like Bakara and all these big surahs. Uh, I memorized that. Then I memorized bit a bit further, but I done just about it was the next juz, and uh, then I done other surahs, you know, coming from surah to Kahf, which we read every Friday, which is the cave, surah to Maryam, which is Mary, about the mother of Isa, a salam, you know, and uh, Toha, and other surahs like surah to Arum, Sajda, uh, you know. Uh, there's, I've done I've done quite. So you're Qasas. getting there. You're getting there. Yeah. I, at one stage, I wanted to be Hafid or Quran, yeah. so I was really, you know. And then later on, I did. I said, okay, you know what? Um, this is not easy, right? especially at my age. And you know, with responsibilities, it's easy when you're young. And you ain't got no responsibilities. You have to pay your bills, and you're young. You can you could take knowledge quicker. Mm. But Alhamdulillah, Allah blessed me with a good memory. So still, so I said, okay, let me just carry on. Even though when I did leave, I started to do a lot of talks, you know, to the Muslim youth, and you know, tell them about Islam is the middle road. You know, it's not uh, something you go and blow up places and all this kind of thing. Um, and it's the best way of life. It's better. It's the you know following the prophet, living that type of life. It's a good life, uh, and the purpose of life. Um, then I got hassled by the you know the MI5. I was about to say that. Yeah, mm. what happened there with the MI? So when I was travelling a lot, I used to get stopped all the time, and I was wondering how come I'm getting stopped. Like every time I can't go through immigration, they were stopping me with my passport. Then one day, I was coming back from America visiting my 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 father, and. Um, they stopped me and then they said, yeah, you know, you're on the watch list. I said, I'm on the watch list. So then they done, then they done this thing on me called Schedule 7, which is uh, a, like, uh, <clears throat> they basically uh, um, stop you, take like they arrest you, but they don't arrest you fully. They just want to find out everything about, you know, what you're doing, mm. what you're listening to, what, you know, what, what, what what's on your phone, all these things. So Where they, is this, American police are here? This was, oh, um, I, I used yeah. to get stopped everywhere, even right. in America, but over here, yeah, yeah. Schedule 7. Yeah, I don't know if they still do that now, they've changed mm. it. Mm. And um, just to interrogate you, really. But how did that feel? Like, you're not doing that, nothing wrong? You just... Yeah, I felt really I felt really upset about that because I, when they was going to stop me, and I remember I was going to the, to, the, to the immigration and I couldn't go through with my passport. It was made, did it, did it make the noise? So the woman said, go to the counter. Mm. So I've gone to the counter, there's a guy there. And he looks at me, opens my passport, said, oh, Abdul Wahab. I said, well, you can read my name. And he goes, what? And I said, no, no. He said, you read my name like that, really good. And he said, oh. And he called these two people behind. And they were from, you know, the police. And they said, right, we need to talk to you in the back. I said, why? He said, because we need to. I said, how come you always stop me? Because what do you mean you always get stopped? I goes, I always get stopped. You always stop me, mm. you know. And now I'm tired. It was early in the morning, right? The plane arrived early. It was a crap plane. British Airways crap plane, right, unfortunately. So, but I was glad to be early. And now you want to take me to the back. And I said to them, you're lucky you don't know who I am. I can expose you on social media, right? And he goes, we know who you are, Mr. UK Apache. So this is the first time... Man, no! This is the first time they said... They dropped the bar on them. Yeah, go yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I thought, right. Well, so usually, I didn't think they knew me. I yeah. just thought they known as Abdul Wahab. Yeah. So, so this is serious. They take me at the back. He goes, we're going to do this thing called Schedule 7. We have the right to take you down right, right away if, if we find anything. Mm. If you need a lawyer, you can call your own lawyer. I said, no, I don't need a lawyer. And so he started asking me questions. Who do you listen to? You know, what people of Islam... Proper you, invasive, yeah. What do you talk about at your talks? You know, where have you come from? I said, that's stupid. You just saw me come off the plane. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. Even, you yeah. know what I mean? Check the board, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, 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 and I'm waking up now, so I'm starting to find questions back at him as well, mm. you know? And uh, he's just frying questions. I'm like, you're wasting my time. He said, right, we're going to bring your bags. He brings my, ba my bag. So I said, I need your phone. So I give him my phone. 
what's the password? So I give him the password. I don't care. Because I haven't got time, really. Mm. And I've got nothing to hide. And I'm mm. thinking, I hope I haven't got nothing. Sometimes you're on a WhatsApp group. Yeah, it's true. They've got some mad messages sent you don't to know you who, from yeah, people. You don't yeah. know who's sending the messages. And yeah. there was a, there was an, an execution on one of my WhatsApp groups. Right, yeah. Of somebody getting executed. Yeah. Yeah, but it wasn't nothing to do with me. Yeah. But they, they knew about that one already. So this is what I said. Yeah, that's from some other thing. I don't know, I don't know who it is. Yeah. Um, in the end, they couldn't find nothing. You know? And I said, you should be paying me money. Because, yeah. you know, I'm a person who, you know, talks to the youth, gives them good advice and tells them to live, you know, mm. and you're bugging me. And it, and it did hurt me. It made me very angry because all due respect, you, you mentioned Apache Indian. And the guy's a legend in his own right. And he got, you know, awarded, I think. Uh, oh, yes. it may, yeah, I think he may have had an MBE or OB. I don't yes, know. Yes, can you imagine, right? right. Uh, for England, right? And with all due respect to him. He represents England because he's born in Birmingham, but his music wasn't British. Right. His music was rightfully coming from, you know, the Punjab or whatever, mm. that, that kind of Punjabi sound or, or that Indian kind of, because mm. he represents India. Mm. Right? I'm not too clued up on it. Yeah. Right. And from Jamaica. Yeah. So he brought those two cultures together. When yeah, but he's a British man doing that. He's a British man doing it. So oh. I give him that. But, but the music. So when I thought to myself, hold on, I've never got no respect. Called, I used to go around with the Union Jack tied around my head mm. if you look at the, at the album mm. on the cd i've got the union jack tied around my head and i call myself uk apache i've done a song called original nutter you can't get more british than that mm. there's no other saying there's more british everybody uses that word footballers yeah, but... politicians and i get arrested at the airport <laughs> you know what i mean mm. and get interrogated and get no respect you but know? maybe it's <clears> the <throat> kind of absence from the scene that because apache india has been Still doing yeah. stuff, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes when no, you exit been, from and that, I'm doing, I'm giving talks to the youth, yeah, telling them to live a good life, mm. don't blow up places. Mm. And this is the treatment you give me as an artist. You give me no respect, and I started feeling really, you know, like again, like back in the day when I was young, not wanted in England. I mean, not loved here. I mean, because I've just been treated so bad in so many different mm. ways, mm, 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 not mm. respected. You know what I mean? Do you I, feel British now? No, no. No, I don't feel British no more. No? No. A, that's, that's a shame, isn't it? No. It's sad. I don't feel connected to no country, to be honest. No is, country. Is that just I can't the way to, you've been treated I'm not, throughout? <clears throat> definitely by being treated for, in England. I've yeah. never I've never get, give, been given the right. Because, um, mm. like I said, then my own song as well, uh, Original Art, really gets credited. And I'm not saying it's his fault, Shy FX, because I left. But to Shy FX, people, I've got Asian people. I saw a video with an Asian presenter on Radio 1 or Radio 2, I can't remember, I know her name, I can't, mm. I can't remember mm. who she was, playing Original Nutter, filming it on a video, because Shy FX was there, and she goes, we got Shy FX Original Nutter playing. And I said, hold on, you forgot, hold on, there's, there's no tune out there, but let me finish, let me finish, sorry. There's no tune out there called Shy FX Original Nutter, no tune out there. There's a tune called UK Apache with Shy FX Original Nutter. They seem to forget my name. And, and this is what I want to say to anybody who, who knows about this song. Right, and this can't be edited, right? It's not your. We don't edit out here, <laughs> bro. Okay. Right, anything, I don't mind. When you talk about original night, this track, right? If you're not mentioning my name, right, out of respect, yeah, you're not talking about original night, because original night, right, was written by me, not Shy FX. No, do, do, no, do, no disrespect to Shy Shy FX is a legend in his game. Right, there's posts out there, you can find them out there. Even recently, there's one that's put up where they talked about original Nata. On a, on, a, on a mainstream radio station, which you mentioned earlier on, mm. that same main, mm. right? And they were promoting something, <clears throat> another tune. They were promoting another tune, but they're using this song because it was to do with Shy FX, he's connected to. And my name's not even mentioned in the post. Like I don't even exist. And the post says, when Shy FX was 17 when he made Original Nutter. Now, I wrote an email to the DJ. And? He, he came up, he said, I, I, I'm only replying you. This is what he said. I'm only replying because I respect you so much, blah, blah. But this was done to promote the legacy of Shy FX. I said, no problem. You can promote the legacy of Shy FX. But when you talk about this tune and you put it up there, the title alone is misleading. Do you, do you <laughs> think that's Shy FX's biggest tune? When they, well, I know you were obviously part of the tune, but that's Listen, why me, people I magnetize believe, it. Yeah, I believe it's Shy, but Shy FX doesn't like to be told that. But it is his biggest tune. Yeah, but he doesn't like that. Well, well, because uh, Shy FX... I know Shy FX does, he does, he does the many tunes. Yeah, yeah, amazing. He's, he's amazing. got some, he's an amazing producer. 
But when oh, it that comes shakes to your body tune was massive as well. Massive. Yeah. And it's got big ones as well, right? Yeah. But when it comes to original Nutter, yeah. I wrote that song. Yeah. The song is is about me. If I explain in detail what the song is, the first part of the song is introducing my name, new name, the original Nutter, the, ta- the the vocal. The singing bit is big up all the junglists and all the people of England, right, and Jamaica. But the next parts, me are the Nutter, original man. And then it said, but you, no one can explain it like me. Why am I talking about... Explain it, bro. Yeah, but I'm just explaining it. If, if they even interview Shy FX about this song, he can't explain the song. Yeah. Because he never wrote the words. So he's not. he doesn't know why do I mention Darth Vader? Why do I mention Luke Skywalker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I watched these movies. Yeah. Why, in no one school, they called me Troublemaker. They did. In no one <laughs> school, they called me <laughs> Better than the Predator and the Terminator. Who's better than these people? There's only one. The original Nutter. You know? But obviously, respect to those films. Better than the Gargan and the Don Dada. Who's the Gargan and the Don Dada? Supercat, Don Dada, and Ninja Man. But are you not going at them then? Is no, that not no. a diss? I'm bad at them. You have to understand, when I say bad in these people, I give them respect in one way. Mm, you know mm, what I mean? Mm. I'm saying that they're legends. Mm. But when it comes to the original Nata, Nata, I'll I live am. on. You know what I mean? So the thing is, <clears throat> what I'm explaining now, because we're talking about it, I've tried to push it aside now. But unfortunately, it still goes on now. And then the guy wrote back, he said, he said to me, oh, I, there's no mean to, I don't want to get involved in beef. And I'm thinking to myself, it's not beef. He, I said, I've got no beef with no one. I'm just talking about the post you put up. And I, and he said, well, <laughs> it, and you know what he did? He didn't apologize. He didn't say, let me change the title of the post. Or let me bring it down. Mm. He's left, and he said, he's left up there. And now, can, can you imagine, right? You're a DJ. You meant to respect this artist, right? You put a post up, and you can go and look at this post, right? Where it says, Shy FX was only 17 when he made, mm. he made original now. Mm. Now, if it said Shy FX with you, Capachi, was only 17 when he made the original Nutter. That's the truth about the tune. That's no problem. I've got no... But... but no, so let, let, let me finish. Right? If you do that, right, that's fine. But then when you say, it's not, it's not, you know, it's, 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 not, it's you know, I respect you and blah, blah. If you respect me and know that I'm upset, right? The artist is upset. Who wrote the song? And who is the song about? Are you going to just leave it? Okay, we'll just leave it there. It doesn't matter. No, to, to me, that shows me you're not upset. Yeah? You're just doing what you think is you can do. And not really thinking the depth of it, how this affects me. But do you? Hmm. I'll be a bit blunt. Do you not feel like you brought that on yourself because of your absence? You've stepped away. You've moved away from the game. I love you when you say that. You know why? But you go and say I've been asked I, that before. You're my brother, but I'll, yeah. I'll tell you. And I'm you so straight. glad. I'm so glad you said that. You know why? Because when the first person asked me that, just uh, look, I've only done some podcast reason. I've, I've run away because I don't want to talk about this. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want to talk about this because of this. Yeah. But I thought well, sometimes about it's good to talk. No, because it brings oh. up problems. You know, okay. I will look at some posts sometimes and I just email this guy privately, but now I've talked to it openly. You know what I mean? So the thing is, right, and I've, it doesn't matter. It, it 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 only bothers me when we talk about it. And when I looked at it and I, I got it, after I sent the email, I wish I never sent it. Yeah. Because I just leave it, I don't care. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going to happen over and over again. And this happened, happened, happened once. This has happened over 30 years. But do you know what? It's so now when he, said, when he said, I brought it on me, right? I'm glad he said that. Whether I'm in the game or not, the truth is the truth. Yep. Whether I like you or I like the cameraman or not, right? The cameraman is a good-looking guy, right? Come on! Respect, my brother. Right? <laughs> yeah. I can't say he's ugly if I, if I don't like him. Yeah. The truth, he's a good-looking guy. He's a good-looking guy. Oh, that's a, you know, a mad, you know, yeah, yeah, it's a no, mad, I understand. You know, so truth whether I'm truth. in the game or not, yeah. the truth is the truth. Okay, the yeah. tune, I've given you the, the truth mm. about the tune. You're right. You know? I respect Shy FX. Shy FX knows. I big Shy FX in nearly every interview that I've done. I'm going to try and get Shy FX. Huh? I will reach out to Shy FX. I would love to have him on here. I'll He's love... a very busy man. Listen, right? we all are, but <clears throat> the fact of the matter is, no, you can Shy, make time Shy... in it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Well, but listen, well, that's between you and Shy. I don't want... Yeah, I'm going to try. I, I haven't got beef with Shy FX, right? He never put the post up. Yeah? But these posts, the way they're put up sometimes, for me, is disrespectful. Yeah, okay. 375,000 people have viewed that post and they're viewing it now, right? On that mainstream radio station. Now, if you're promoting a new tune, I haven't seen no post about that new tune from your radio station. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So why don't you promote the new tune? You know what I mean? Well, and from my point of view, it is your song. You are a legend. And I, I don't, you know the funny thing? When, when, you, and when, you, when you heard me today. Most when you, people know When it. you've heard to me today, me and Shy FX put the tune together. Right? Yeah. It was mostly my idea. And that's just the truth. Shy FX, I'm not, I'm not lying to you. Yeah. you know what I mean? I give him credit. He's done helicopters. He's done, yeah. I had no part of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But with this one tune, Right, even if the tune wasn't big, right, I still have to speak the truth. Mm. Suppose nobody liked this tune, 
I'll still say the same thing that I made it. And when I say I made it, it was my idea. I wrote the song. I put it on that rhythm. Yeah. Shy FX, if he wanted to put it on another rhythm, he could have. He never put it on no other rhythm. Hey, I can see the fire in your eyes, you know, yeah. when you talk about this. This tune's your baby though, isn't it? And it should be. It should be. There is no dispute, but it, it's your baby, isn't it? You know what it is, and right? And it should be. You know what it is? Because there's, 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 there's problems with the tune. That's why we have that. If you talk to me another tune, like, look, I've done Signs, a cover of Signs of Tennis or tune, right? With Bad Martian Shree. I make it clear it's a cover sign, right? Many times Bad Martian Shree performed places and they didn't mention my name. <laughs> but... Do you know what's really sad about <coughs> it and disheartening? Even cool. for me, as someone looking outside yeah. in, the saddest thing about it is this this tune brings so much happiness to people, yeah? yeah? So much happiness, three and a half minutes, four minutes of pure happiness and nostalgia, and people can forget about all their worries and just be at, so happy, and yet the person who's made it, <laughs> yeah, exactly. it brought him sadness. Yeah. Ain't, ain't it mad? As, as happy as people are is as sad as you've But listen, bruv, I, I'm going to the truth again. No, 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 it's just, it's just, it's just bro, heartbreaking. Bro, it brings me happiness as well. Yeah, I yeah. hope so. Uh, do you yeah. know what? I really hope so because... No, no, I'll be alive. Look, I'll be alive. I don't go on stage and when I say, no, no, and people go, and, and they're singing me with me. There's a bit I of happiness. Do, I really I hope. I connect that way. I but hope. the truth about the tune is out. And I really hope and, you, <clears throat> you can hold on to that. And to, to be honest, I, I, run, I, run, I ran away for many years. Mm. And, and you know, even DJ Fanny said, you should go out there and speak, speak. And I said, no, there's no point. And one, but there is a point. No, no, what I'm saying. We're in a new stage, era now. We're in uh, internet, TikTok, uh, Facebook, all look, that. One of the reasons Instagram. why I'm here as well is to talk about, obviously, you see this badge. I'm, I'm, I'm coming to that, yeah. I promise you. That, that is next. Uh, I'm not going to... This gonna... is hard to talk about because with this thing here, you try to say the truth without offending no one. You yeah, but I mean? sometimes Even your truth is your truth. Yeah, and I, the thing is, I don't like to have any beef in a certain way. But it's not beef. If that's how you feel and that's your truth, and yeah. you've had 30 years of a legacy, then you've got every right to I'm speak I'm just giving you one truth. example of one post. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's been different things. Yeah. Well, look, we set the record up. straight. Obviously. And what gets me, people that do this sometimes, right, that do this, they know the history of the tune. Mm. So they're just like, trying to erase you from history. It sounds like that. But you know what? They can't. Maybe not deliberately, but... but they're, they're not thinking, like I think to myself, you know what I mean? I've done a dub plate for a big DJ, mm. right? She's an up and coming DJ, mm. right? Of what, Nutter? Yeah. yeah. And you know how hard it is for, for people who have heard, a, they've heard a, there was a clip of a dub plate that I've done for Corrupt FM. Right. And they've done a uh, clip on, yeah, yeah. on, uh, on uh, TikTok. Mm. And people are going mad. Yeah. And one guy wrote, thing, you know how hard it is to get this dub plate from UK? Because I, I read the comments sometimes, right? So I'm reading comments, right? Remember that when you're writing stuff, people. Because mm. I'm re on anything to do with Nutter, I will read the comments sometimes, yeah. right? When I'm bored, yeah. I read it. Yeah. So this guy puts up a comment. Oh, it's very difficult to get UK, which it is. Very difficult. As you know. <laughs> Blood out <laughs> of a stone, mate. Blood out of a stone. <laughs> I've just disappeared. Yeah. Right? And I like it that way right now. I don't, yeah. People say, why are you not on um, social media? I said, I'm not on social media. Social media is on me. Yeah. For you know what I mean? On TikTok alone, sure. <laughs> on TikTok alone, I've got one. There's a, there, if you type in Apache UK, I looked at one day. I just, I just said, let me look on TikTok. What's going on? Because I like to see what's going on. I don't do, yeah. And I saw 1.9 billion views of videos, and some of them are connected to the UK Apache uh, helicopter as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But generally, most of it, I think, is me. And I'm like, what? I haven't even got. I haven't got TikTok. No, no, I haven't you got are Facebook. I've, I've, I've cut. Man said I'm not on social media. Social media is on me. Right. Like, I run it. I'm not saying I never will have no, social no, media. No, no, no. But generally, I don't have yeah, it. Yeah, you don't have social media. Um, and this guy writes, he writes, I just come back to him. He writes, oh, it's so difficult. Do you know how difficult it is to get UK Apache and blah, blah, blah. And, and I said, and I'm thinking to him, yeah, it's true. He's right. And people say, yeah, well, we wouldn't give, you know, start cussing him as well a little bit. You he wouldn't give a, 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 a uh, a bedroom DJ, a dub plate, or, 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 and somebody said, if you've got the money, and I think, no, he, he tell the truth, I'm hard to get, right? And I charge a serious amount of money and because I don't really like doing dubs no more, but if you're going to get me out to do dubs, you're going to pay, mm. you know what I mean? Because it, it's not something I do mm. no more. I could do millions of them, mm. but I don't. Um, and then, um, <clears throat> what was I, I can't, I can't, how I was going to come to? Just the comment that the guy wrote on TikTok. Yeah, so he wrote, he wrote this, yeah, he wrote this comment, and stuff, but I can't remember what I was, what I was getting to. But you're big in it, bro. End of, <laughs> end of that, bro. Listen, UK no. Apache, let me just summarise. Talk his name in it. Talk the truth. Yeah, he made the tune. Give the man his flowers like oh, I'm Oh, no, that's what I'm saying. Sorry. Oh, I just come remember. on, we got it. We got <laughs> it, baby. I just remembered. That about, about something. So this, I gave this DJ, a, lady, a girl DJ, who's coming up. She's yeah. getting big. My dub plate. She goes on Radio 1, right? She plays a dub plate. And the woman says to her, 
yeah. What's your favourite tune or whatever? And she goes, yeah. This original letter by Shy FX. And, and I said to someone, hold on. The girl who you gave the tune to? Yeah, and I'm not going oh, to mention her name because days. she's connected to this somebody. Is, now, who was it, bruv? Now, listen. Oh, I'm going to find out, bro. Listen, you're going to find out. Yeah, it's on Radio 1. Her clip's on Radio 1. She goes, yeah, and my, and, and my mum t- t- um, educated me on this tune. It's, it's Shy FX original. And I thought to myself, hold on. You just played the dub plate that I gave you, right, that your boyfriend, your boyfriend contacted me through a link of my, through that you got a link. And I've done this dub plate out of, out of you know, just out of kindness because I don't need your money. You know what I mean? And I don't need to give you dub plate for original art. That's what I'm saying. People, I don't need anybody to have a dub plate of original art. Mm. Original art is past that. Yeah. I'm not trying to be funny. That's just the truth. Yeah, 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 yeah Right? Yeah. And then, you act like I don't even... Exa- you, you've heard me singing the song. That's disrespectful. And I was I so lie. mad. Who bro. was it? Who was it, bro? I'm not going to say the name. But I'm going to find out anyway. Yeah, you find out the name. Right, right, I'm not going to say... Because on, you know what? I you know, people can't do do dirty, man. That's but just... I felt very hurt. Yeah, I right? can imagine. I felt very let down. After I've gone out my way, and I thought to myself, you know what? Psst. And I, I phoned the guy who knew her, and I cussed. And he said, no, no, she may have forgot. She, and I said, oh. how could she, If her mum educated her on the truth, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. And, she's been, and she's hearing my voice. Is, is Shai Fek singing the song? I'm giving you a dub. Shai can't give, give no one dubs. Original Nata is your tune, UK like, Apache. With Shai Fek. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But it's you are mm-hmm. the artist on the track. Yeah, I, I don't understand this whole confusion, bro. It's a bit, it's, it's a bit weird, bro. Bro, in the jungle world, right? In the, yeah, but we're not in the jungle world. We're post thirty years in the real world, mm-hmm. outside the jungle. That's just a microcosm of the world. No, I'm just giving an example. In the drum and bass world, jungle world, right? The producer. Yeah, I get that. We, I know that. There's DJs now that want to make their name. I get that. Dance Which is cool. world, I mean, Marshmallow, and these DJs. I get it. David Getter. I get all that. I'm just saying, bro. Like, it's, come on, man. Yeah, I feel that. Anyway, on that tip, but, but it is what it is. So, you know, I mean, I'm just saying this, this is the stuff that happens. So when these things happen, obviously, it does sometimes get underneath my skin because I'm not doing things. Well, you're human, aren't you? Yeah, I'm human. But on the other hand, I'm following a path that, you know, is the, is the blessed path. Do you think that path, the Islam path has saved you? Like your own sanity? 100%. Yeah, because I feel I like gone you would have gone mad. Bro, 100%. Because of... I was, I'm alone, you know, I've been alone in a sense as, as, as kind of like... A, a loner I'm a loner yeah. even though I've had close friends sometimes and sometimes those close friends had to take their parts what they had to do mm. and I was alone everybody has their loneliness you know what I mean but being having no brothers and sisters really even though my but dad but you've got children right I've got kids yeah, yeah come my on, sons, come yeah, on, come boys, on. you know what I mean yeah. Rahana Khalil so you want to add them you know <clears throat> yeah of course you know what I mean man but like even K then... I know man, man, man like K's in the video anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so basically um, yeah so you know what I mean it's just like those things sometimes get to me but not like before only because we're talking now I mean, otherwise, it's kind of like... Just, did you know, for me, it's just, I just feel hurt for you, like, because you are, you are wounded, brother, and it has affected your life, and, and I understand it as well. It's easy for me to go, bro, bro, just brush it off and that, but I understand, bro, it's a song so iconic, so impactful, and it's like, you're on the sideline of your own game. Yeah. It's, it's, it's weird, yeah. it's like you're watching your own match on the, like... Do you yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah, man, no. But I've got used to it now. Do Obviously, mean? it's 30 years. So, um, can I just touch on 30 years of UK? This year is 30 years of the original Nutter. Yeah, tune By so UK Fatty, featuring Sire Fakes. Wish I right? <laughs> um, Is there anything that we can expect? Like, 30 years, bro. I don't that, know. That's, that's amazing, I bro. Can't promise. And it's a tune that you play now is as big yeah. as anything that's out there, bro. I've got ideas to remix it again for 30 years. You yeah. Know I mean? But whether Shy wants to do it, that's another thing, because obviously he's a, a kind of a part of the game, you know what I mean? So well, he's a part of the Are game, you allowed to revocal that tune without anybody? <clears throat> or does it go through the whole rigmarole? There'll be, be still issues. There's so ain't that mad that you're, on gag, you're gagged from your own lyrics, bro? Like, you can't really... But in an ideal world, what, what would you like to see in 30 years of... I think, personally, in an ideal world, It'd be good, obviously, to have, have another mix, but nothing can touch the original. I mean, as we know, the original's in it's stone. Magic, it? it's so a another mix time. is just another another thing, you know. Maybe giving honor to the um to the side of it that hasn't been honored yet, like maybe a reggae, like a uh, like a, a bashment mix or a, a dancehall mix. But and like a, yeah, from, but yeah, a, a because it's done. We've done obviously the twenty five year mix, which was a jungle mix again. You know, I mean, up to date a bit more. Uh, sta- um, chasing status with Ira. Who you know would you like to do the intro in an ideal world? Anyone in the world? Just the intro. Just <laughs> I the, don't know, man. Anybody? Anybody? Obviously, I'd be still in the tune myself. No, I'll no, still... no. I'm talking about one day, uh, like the grocery bit. Like anybody is that like the, you got Idris in the twenty five in an ideal world in your world. You know I, I, anybody I got reaching no more, idea. Who would uh, you like? Yourself, man. <laughs> no, no, no. no to be honest, I've got no idea, bro. Really, I don't know. It's one. Of, it's, it's got to be like a Robert has, De Niro or something, like a Hollywood actor. <laughs> it's true, though, isn't it? 
It's true. I didn't even think that far. For me, I thought about featuring artists. You know what I mean? Oh, well, on the on the tune. That would be amazing be, as well. Be it can't that be just be. The, it can't be the one vocal. Imagine you know just I mean? a vocal you and then just getting some big artists. Okay, who would you love on the on, I, I on don't the show? Come on, I man. Know. It's your world. Come and talk to me. I think I think I I, I don't know. It's who weird. are you rating, bruv, in the scene? Do you, do you follow this? You know, I, I don't really follow too much. I hear, I, I see a few things popping up. Here okay, so from thirty years now, who have you rated? Looking back, just like, oh, bro, I really like what my man did in that period or that. I'll be honest with you, I, music, because of all the hurt and the pain and really things, I kind of left music with, and because the faith, with, I just, fo I just focus on the Quran really. So I went to see about reciters in the Quran. Now, if you ask yeah. me about reciters and all that, yeah. I know about all them now. Yeah. I heard, a, I saw a few names, few tunes popped in. I thought, oh, that's bad, that's bad. I mean, but I didn't. You know, I didn't really, um, mm. I didn't uh, think, because my heart as well was moving in a different direction. Yeah. Before I used to love all the artists and the entertainers and stuff like that, my heart was moving in a different mm. direction. But, but, you know, I mean, but I'm sure there's a lot of talent out there, I'm sure. But obviously it'll have to be, you know, and uh, the, the right, the right flavour of the music. And if it's a certain type of flavour of the music, somebody's connected in that flavour. You know what I mean? Could jump of it, and then somebody asked maybe from a so different just, angle. So just just for the record, you are open this year for thirty years. Something could happen. It's the thirty year anniversary. I don't know. Of, well, I'm just saying. I haven't spoken to Shy about original it. Original yeah. <laughs> Nutter. Let's put it out there to to the universe. You never know. It's thirty years. Something could happen, and it should happen. It should happen. Um, can I just touch upon obviously your badge you're wearing? Yes. Obviously, uh, we know what's going on in Palestine. And what's going on in Palestine? Horrific things, yeah. horrific things, mm -hmm. uh, and we just want that to cease. You know, yeah. we want it to be a ceasefire now. Yeah, you now people, innocent people are getting killed, uh, and it's just not right, and it needs to stop. So there's a lot of campaigning, obviously. You know, it's the worldwide issue, and the thing is, what gets me is when people think that they're not going to get affected. Like so I've seen some videos, people, say, it's nothing to do with us. You know, but believe me, when you can't buy your groceries, or you know, you not be able to fill up your petrol tanks, yeah, or feed your family and yourself. You know, mm. if you can't see the humanity in it, you know, like the people, innocent people, like, you know, children getting killed, people getting killed, right? Uh, and you think that's okay to say, you know, it, it, you know, we're not involved, then I feel sad for you because this is a worldwide issue. And it's really, uh, it's really on the brink of so many things. I mean, there's so much things happening, mm. you know, so, there's so many issues happening, but definitely, you know, we want this, uh, this, uh, the words to explain this i mean people have said it better than me much better than me but the 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 murder that's happening you know the, it's it's unbelievable how the world is watching and governments are just standing by mm. like, well, what's your overall assessment of the world just as just to summarize in 2024 how do you see the world as it, you know from then to now kind of i mean we're in a very sad time mm. you know i mean it seems like people have lost their hearts you know especially the, the youth like i mean the stabbings and just that boy who got stabbed on New Year's Eve, died two minutes before, you know, 2024 mm. come in, you know, the New Year's Day came in, he just, he got stabbed to death in a park. But it's, it's, but it's not even news anymore, is it? It's like, because no. I didn't know about it until you told me Look at earlier. That. I mean, I'm always clued up, the, I always like, I like being a kind of, you know, that kind of person who, who wants to be the voice for the boys. Yeah, the of voices. course. I'm always clued up in the, you know, uh, and as a Muslim as well, we're told we need to know what's going on in the world with, 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 with everybody and everything in a sense of like, you know, <clears throat> good and bad. Yeah. I just think it's a sad time and I think some positivity needs to be done, you know, and uh, certain laws need to change. Uh, people in certain positions need to change either their own, themselves or they need to be replaced, 100%. Do you see yourself staying in the UK for, your, for, the, for the future? I, I don't know. Okay, um, just a quick touch. You go to America a lot to see your dad yeah because we do speak privately uh, <laughs> yeah. i love you for that bro yeah uh so your relationship with your dad is good yeah yeah my, me and my dad despite called, the even, absence yeah yeah we're cool i mean islam teaches that as well you must okay. respect your mother and father no matter what they've done you know so the it, forgiveness in your heart is there's forgiveness yeah and no one's perfect but you do know, you... i'm a father i'm not perfect you know i tried my best and uh still doing but but do you forgive the people that wronged you in the music 100 percent that must be very hard to do. How do you find that balance? Like, I forgive these people that robbed me and took my money. Well, if you ask them, they'll say they didn't. You know? I'm, not, I'm not asking them. <laughs> yeah. I'm asking so they have, they have their side of things, you know, when you start to... But yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it is what it is. Like I said, it was God's path, you know, and whatever, you know, the creator decrees, I'm happy with that. Was it end. easy to forgive them or did you find yourself... At the beginning, I, I didn't want to talk to no one. Like I said, I, I hated people in a sense yeah. of like... And just, you know, 
thought, wow, because it was so much to me. It's not as much to me as now. You know, it's mm. a different different time, different age and, diff and different everything. But um, it is what it is. And I always say, you know, 99% UK Apache's career is done. But I'm not the creator. You never know. 1% could light up again. Whether it's good or bad, that's another debate, you know. Well, um, talking about but... that. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> right. Anything could pop up. Listen. And, and could just... But whether it's going to give me this, this is the funny thing, because I sometimes I don't even know now what I want to pop up. Because at that time, you know, when you're in the game, right, it's funny. At that time, when I had the deal on the table, people were taking care of my business for me. Mm. They were helping me with videos, they were helping me do yeah, this. Yeah, they had, yeah. and, but now if I had to do it, and that's why I gave up money, to, I had to do it all myself. And many people say, you should do this, you do that. And I'm like, that's what a lot of people do now. Even I said, I can't be bothered. You know, I just haven't got energy. So well, if, if it was to happen again... <clears throat> which I doubt it very much. I think maybe I could do a few features here and there, but it wouldn't give me, I don't think that would never ever come back for me personally, um, that I've got something where I'll get some support from a label. Or I don't think like. you need support anymore. The game's changed. You don't yeah, need nobody. There's people on doing their own songs just there's blowing also, up. Yeah, bro. but there's, there's also, you do need connection sometimes. You do, but sometimes yeah. you don't. Like, the trust me, it's, like, it's organic. We've had people sat here, M dot, that they do their own type of things. They're, I think for me to get really up to, I need to obviously feature with a different artist. I'm, I, wouldn't, I haven't got the energy to do tracks myself yet, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like my style, because mm -hmm. I'm well over it. I don't think of it. <clears throat> but I could do a bit of featuring as UK Apache. Well. <clears throat> but... Funny you say that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've nah. got something to say, yeah? Well, listen. You're going to tell me something I don't I'm know not, about. I, listen. <laughs> am, I, am I featuring my, in a song? I'm not know. picking my words lightly, and I mean this, bro, yeah? When I say, oh, you didn't I'm, put me in a song, did you? Listen, <laughs> I, am, I don't know nothing I about am it. Actually, Any song you see me with him, I don't know nothing about it. Oh, it's like that. He look at that early doors, bro. <laughs> man trying to throw me on the bus. Listen, cuz, I'm not like that, man. I was yeah? outside my house, and he said, listen, sing a few bars. And nah, then, nah, I've done it, and now it's a come tune. You can't say that. Listen, I am honoured. When I mean honoured, I'm not joking, bro. Even if you weren't sitting here, bro. Like, I'm honoured. If you told me back then as a school kid, this guy's going to be on one of your songs, I'd be like, whatever, bro. But I'm absolutely honoured that you you are on a song with me, Street Life with Devlin, yeah? <laughs> which 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 I put together, which up. which blood, sweat and tears to get this stuff. To get this brother on something, yeah, is, <laughs> trust me, I, I've never had an art. And, and Wait, I understand it. <laughs> and I understand it. Like, yeah. it's literally, like, I yeah. cannot explain I was, how difficult it I was. I was serious. But I understand. You got me down here, man. I was, and I'm even late. <laughs> it's true, but... <laughs> but for you to give me your trust, yes. knowing you got all this, mm -hmm. you know, trust issue, with, yeah. you know, I get it. And then to put your trust in me, and then to vocal it, and then Devlin, my brother, coming on, and then doing the music video. Well, I tell you something. A lot of people did always. They always tried to, you know, let's do this, let's do that. Do you get offers re re like when they could come regular? Me, one time, yeah, people would say, let's do this, let's do that. But I find them not able to do like to complete the mission. Yeah. And then it's just a waste of my time. Right. You know what I mean, I'm not here to play games. Like I haven't got time. Mm. You know what I mean, with, you know, with all due respect, like Shy FX always says, sometimes come to the studio, come to the studio, just to vibe. Mm. You know what I mean, but Shy knows I don't work like that. You yeah. know what I mean? And me and Shy, we've never done a new tune. Mm. Can you imagine? Mm. We've got this banger, and we've never done a new tune. Mm. We've just done the remix again. That's not a new tune. You know? but yeah, but sometimes you got a vibe in the studio <coughs> to see what comes out. No, just how you made Nutter, that was a vibe, and Nutter came out. No, 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 but the thing is, about Shy, I had Nutter written. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's what I'm saying. So I've got songs written that if you want to do something, you we know can I mean? do them. Like I gave you the chorus of that of the track, Street yeah, Life. Yeah. You know I mean, I had that already from before. But, um, you know I mean, I had a whole song yeah, of but that. The, but but um, you took, I gave you the chorus. But what? what and what's come out? People of it? are asking you left, right, and centre, no doubt, bro. We need, you kept. I, what, I know it's me, but what are, what got you on the track? What made, <laughs> what was the final thing that said, yeah, I'm going to voice this? Because I was over the moon that you even did it and I got it back, bruv. I was like, what? I was in the days, bruv. What? Man's got a UK Apache. Like, what possessed you to do that, bro? Well, I've got to be honest. I think, you know, when you do your business, and I have to give you respect for it, and I mean, even I bought you some chocolates for you and the family. He did. <laughs> Gullian, or whatever it's called. Come yeah, on. I should have given it. Yeah. No, I bought you some chocolates. Because you, you do the job, you've done it, to the T, you know, you've done everything, you know, even this, you know, this, in, well, this conversation, because yeah. you don't want to call it a podcast, this show, yeah. Shizio show, big up the Shizio show, you don't know, Come on. Uh, basically, um, you know, it's done correct, you know what I mean, and if people do things correctly, and they work with respect and manners, like you did, you know what I mean, even the video, I remember I said, I, I, I can't, I, do the track without me. You don't have to do the video with me. I said that. Remember? I'm, I said it's fine. Yeah. And he said, No, bro. I want you in the video. No, you because you're, you know, you're. And I said, Boy, if you're gonna do the video, you gotta come to my yard. <laughs> well, look, I've got to be honest. <laughs> and you did. You, you, you were very reluctant <clears throat> to be in the video. Yeah. I didn't want and to do it. we came to tooting. 
big up Devlin because <laughs> even Devlin was like, but I'm coming to the video, bro. Come that's that's how much respect you have. Come Devlin's Devlin big, is, bro. Is, is, Song with Ed Sheeran recently. No, he's Dev's my brother, but very but he's humble not just brother. Massive, he's a very nice person. Very humble and brother. And the thing about I've never met him. First time I met him. Yeah. And obviously he's he's a younger generation to me, so I don't know all the younger generation's names. I have, I'm not in it no more. But sometimes things pop up and stuff. And uh, even uh, what's his name? Uh, dot, d, d dot dot. D yeah. D double. No, D dot M, the, the guy. Oh, M dot R. M dot R. Yeah. yeah. I didn't. I didn't know him until I met him at Carnival. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was on. I was on at Carnival when, when I done that at twenty five, mm. and uh, I went to Rampage like because I've Rampage was shocked. And to that see was me. five years ago, so that just shows that M dot R's been grinding for years. Yes. People think he come overnight. He didn't. And he came on the stage behind me, and he was taking the mic, doing that, and, <laughs> and I was like, "Who's this guy?" And after he goes, "No, respect." And me and him kind of became like bridging on uh, on Instagram. Yeah. So he he said to me, "Well, that's your best tune. That's the best tune. Ever. No tune's better than that." He was just bigging up Nutter. You know yeah. what I mean? And he's doing his thing now. He's become massive good. He's he's got a style. Yeah. And he's improving, improving. But I'm <clears> saying like the so generations. Devlin, yeah. Like, I didn't know him, and then when I checked him out, I said, "This guy is mad." But his verse on the track, right, is so like on point. Like yeah. all of you, you know what I mean? And I know some of the remixes have got Big Nasty on it, you know what mm, I mean, all that. Yeah. So it's, so I said, you know, this guy's getting his job done right. He talks with respect, you know what I mean? I said, all right, if, he's that, if he really wants me in the video, come down my yard. And you came. Man had to go tooting in the, in, in the mud, but we had to go down there. I mean, I had to phone this the man to let you in. <laughs> let me tell you something. This brother has got like a step count from his house, bro. If 100 steps from his house, he's not doing nothing. It's done. Go away, bro. A man had to work around what he's prepared to go, bro. But I could see you enjoying it. He was stush at the start. Like, bro, what is this? I don't want to do it. Couple takes in, man got warmed up. He said, bro, let, let me just go home and change my shoes. Yeah? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> And then, and then a couple of verses, he's firing. I was like, but you know what? I could see as nice artist to artist, that passion in you will never go, bro. You, you have the fire. And I understand people can stomp it out, bro. But I swear to God, there's a little spark in there, bro. And all it needs is a couple little leaves on there, bro. And, look, and, the it, thing is, and like, you know, and you love it, bro. You do love it. And, and look, the thing is, I love that you love it, bro. Look, what I say, right? What I say, obviously, I'm doing. I call it mustard duties now, yeah? yeah. Like mosque duties, because mustard is the word, the real word for mosque. Yeah. People get confused. What's he talking about, mustard? Mm, 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 that mm. means mosque. So the mustard duties for me, I don't like to call myself imam, mm. but I lead the prayers now because I've memorized a good portion. Yeah. St I'm studying with sh some people of knowledge, sheikh, shayukh, and I'm leading the prayers. So obviously I'm in a different world, but occasionally, you know, if something comes up, you know, and I'm involved with it because of whatever reason, right, I always give it from my heart, mm. you know what I mean? If I'm on stage, it doesn't matter. But I, I, like anybody knows who I've performed, I give it to I lose my voice. Even now, I don't feel like I've got a voice. I saw a video of you, <coughs> sorry to interrupt, yeah. Fabio and Groove Rider, yeah, yeah. and they were doing a live orchestra call, mm. brother, yeah. when you go on stage, there is no, the electricity and energy, yeah. it's like Thanos has stepped in the building and done that, bro. <laughs> Mental, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a vibe. Mental, it's a vibe. and that is a blessing in itself. And I'm really happy. Yeah, I keep myself. And, and do you know what? I'm glad that you that haven't just totally quit. You, I know there's a conflicting thing with Islam yeah, and that. Yeah, and I'm glad that you made up your own mind and people yeah. haven't swayed you either way. Do you know? Because yeah, people yeah. would do that. Like people but I would say, everybody's decision. No, of yeah, course. Opinion, but I, I respect that you make your decision. <coughs> I'm not saying and say. Yeah. Do you know what? <coughs> I'm not giving people permission and, to do and what I do. Just for me on the <coughs> outside. For me, that is a God-given talent, bro. What you do and how you drop your verses and harmonise and do it, I just feel like like that's God-given. So it, yeah, it, it's got to come out. It's well, come I still, out. I still believe I sometimes, like, you know, some good, good, uh, positive uh, messages. Well, I think can come is, through with, yeah. with, with certain and, things. And, you know what I mean, so and so like I said, you know, these these things. And, and I'm this, gonna look for is, a video as you talk. I'm not being rude, but some someone just come to mind. But carry on, please. Okay. So yeah, so you know, it's that, so this street life as well has, has has some reality in it. You know, that's what the music is about. You know, this this song is about you know reality and 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 what can happen and what's happening, and it's got that message. You know, and, and that's why I took to it. Um, and yeah, and you done it. You done it. I mean, you just showed me the video earlier on, <laughs> which I actually I didn't even want to watch myself in the video because I don't want to. But the video. Is you the, saw it today, first time video before it goes out. Yeah. You, you like it? No, I love it, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm chuffed that you like it. Yeah. We, it, we blood, sweat, and tears went into it. No, it's positive. And we did it. Oh, do you know what? I can't find the video, but someone sent me a video, and I'll put it on the screen later of your vocal in a in a big rave recently, yeah, in like yeah. a dance thing. But yeah. your your vocal was yeah, there, yeah. bro. So. Yeah. 
yeah. how does it feel like the young generation, these kids like 19 years old or something, going, going to raves, bruv, and your vocal is done in the dance with light shows, like, you're still yeah, prevalent man. as ever, yeah, yeah. those people, lyrics, bad boy, like, people like Kano have used that, bro. Yeah, 100%. So when you, you talk about these, long these time legends ago, that have yeah. used your name, everybody Shout knows. Kano as well, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, no, I mean, yeah, that, that vocal is, uh, is uh, can, you know, it's always resurfacing and stuff and, like you said, you know, unless the Almighty wills, it's gonna, it's living on. It's British history, man. It's British history. It, it really yeah. is, man. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, about, about with street life, I thank you so much, bro. Like, no, honest, you, no, it's my honour, and mm -hmm. I. I, you've told me this is the last vocal I'm ever gonna do. <laughs> uh, part of me is obviously well, happy and honoured that it is, but I genuinely hope that's not true. Yeah. I don't want to be selfish and be like, bro, I got the last vocal ever from UK Batchy. Yeah, I, I want to, no, I want to be What do you think about guy. me? I've got like, like, I've got like a, 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 a catalogue yeah. of vocals that really haven't been used. Yeah, but my one was the last one, in it? <laughs> you told me that, but... Uh, and the thing is, you know, anytime anybody can use the catalogue, sometimes it's there. Yeah, but that's I don't old. have to revoke it. I'm about new things is mine, but <laughs> well, I hope... To you because you've heard it, but it hasn't been out yet. But, but I, I just I hope it's not on... true. I just hope it's not true. Well, you true. know, the song's connected obviously to, to uh, yeah, yeah. I just so... hope <clears throat> that you do carry your music, and I hope you can re find the passion in regards to because I know there's a lot of hurt that kind of supersedes all of this, and I understand it given your story, bro. And it's sad to hear. Well, but... you know, the thing is, I'm still using my voice, my voice, yeah, in a different way, of course, I mean, of obviously, course. leading the salah, leading yep. the Quran. So I'm still doing that, but obviously, that's not that's not paying me yet, yeah, because I don't take the position up as Imam anywhere, yeah. So I have to live, and uh, obviously, this is the way I've been living all these years, yeah. you know. And obviously, the time I was a carer, I didn't, but at the moment. Uh, this is what this is how I make my income. So occasionally I pop up, and I've, obviously I've got some gigs coming up, and just a few. Yeah, yeah. Man. And I don't do many. Mm. Uh, and uh, while you're doing these things, you, you meet people, you see people, you know, people see you again, and you never know what could pop up. Are you happy, brother? Huh? Are you happy? Come on, we have to be happy. Yeah. Because we can't be unhappy in a sense of like ungrateful to whatever God has given you. Now, because the Prophet said, peace be upon him, right? Muhammad, peace be upon him. He said, you know, never look at people above you, look at the people below you. You know, so even I may moan about blah blah, but I'm grateful. People think sometimes, ah, oh, some people say to me, but you've got this massive tune, like, why are you not great? You know, that you sound like a... I'm not ungrateful. It's just the injustice that was done to me. I'm grateful for what I've got, 100. percent mm. I'm grateful for everything that I've got. You know what I mean? For anything, for being here, for you know, for speaking good things, for you know, you giving me a drink, whatever. The cameraman doing his work. You know, we give thanks for everything. You know what I mean, we should not be ungrateful. So happiness is a part of life, but you can't just be happy all the time. You have to have a balance. You mm. go up and down, you know what I mean. But we give thanks. We have to be grateful. Well, look, more than more than just happy. We have to be grateful and happiness. Content. Ha grateful. Gratefulness. True gratefulness is contentment. Contentment's the key word, you know. I swear down. That's what <laughs> that's what I live by, bro. Bro. A good thing if you can. I think we've covered everything, you know. I just want to say before I end this, it's an honor. I don't, I'm not joking. It's no respect, honor. man. I'm honored that you came here. You drove here. Yeah. Um, Honoured that the conversation. Have you got had. a helicopter waiting for going back? The helicopter's <laughs> coming. Uh, yeah, I've got a drone. Bro. That's what they're doing. The Dubai, they got they got cab helicopters. It's not Dubai, <laughs> bro. I'm not not yet. <laughs> you're a Dubai man. I see you. You're, no, you're, you're for Sar for Sar no, shirts. No, 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 and now no. you can't bring I'm the trying, helicopter. I'm trying. Where's the helicopter, bro? I'm trying. Isn't the, isn't the helicopter bro? Bro, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna spin in a minute. But no, seriously, bro. No. I'm honoured that you come here. I'm honoured that you're my friend. I'm on. I mean that. I'm not. I mean that. I'm honoured that we have that we have private conversations. And I know it's been a while. We built up a little history together, yeah. and I'm always here. Um, on, I mean that, bro. Like we talk often, and 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 I never. Do you know what they say? That they say never meet your heroes, bro. But I am glad and honoured to have met you. I swear to God, bro. I'm not saying I'm a hero, bro. No, but I'm just saying like yeah. people like that from back in the day that I could only even dream of being like. Yeah. The fact that I meet them, let alone be on tune no, with you'd them, be <laughs> and then I know you on a personal level yeah. is unbelievable, bro. No, man. And 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 on behalf of the UK, bro, you are a legend, bro. Respect. You are an uh, absolute loot legend. I got one last question that's come to my mind, bro. No, uh, no one last. And then, and then, fire, fire. But you are a legend. If there was a, a building with five faces on it, you know, you know, like a Mount Rushmore <laughs> of like iconic musical people, who <laughs> would you have on that on that on that mountain? I I, I don't like. Okay, 
I like, who's your top five? I like, I like placards. Okay, okay. If there like, were placards, names, but I don't like faces okay. on it because if there was it comes pla- like worship on it. You okay, know no. If there was a placard, oh, but there's too who, many, bro. Just, that's just, very just give me your top five. That's, that's very it. difficult. And then, and <laughs> there's then. a lot in there. <laughs> well, come on. I'm quite a, a rounded. Hit me, hit me. Uh, see, because I don't really look at artists no more, you know. But come on. I mean, well, definitely Bob Marley has to be one. Bob Marley, yeah, cool. Has to be one, you know, yeah, because of you know the legend mm-hmm. in the reggae. And then you obviously got like people. There's so many. Like, yeah, well, you got four more. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Because <laughs> because he's not gonna come back here, bro. Trust me. He ain't gonna I don't come back. Because I, you know, there's just it's very difficult, man. Do I have to? Well, you know, give it a go. Who like pops into mind? Usually, it's the ones that <coughs> pop into your mind straight well, away. Do you know what I'm Michael Jackson. Yeah, MJ, hundred percent. Go on. A musical, musically talented voice and, and, and songwriting. You've got, you've got the Queen, obviously. Queen, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, can't rap yeah, with yeah, these yeah, people. Yeah. <laughs> man, man, you can't rap with them people, yeah. <laughs> you know, when it comes to songs. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. Guys, like, you know, Two more. Um, and the band itself. Oh, this just, I mean, this is hard. Bro. Come on, Bob, it's hard for everybody, but just, you get me, sometimes just, usually it's the ones that pop in your head. See, you're talking about people like, like they, 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 they had a catalogue of... I'm just saying, whoever real... comes to your mind, bro. Oh, man, this is, this is too many, bro. Come on, bro, two more. We're almost home. We're almost home. <laughs> See, if I'm going to say this, I'm not going to say these. These are always going to say Okay, the but same. just ones that pop in your head, then. It's only because it's saying pop in yeah, your head like that for now, because it could, it could change. Yeah, go on. It could change that. I mean, there's a uh, man... Hmm. He's gonna fumble it, cuz come on, man. You're on the spot, bro. I know, but I don't want to. Like, there's Luther Vandross. Yeah, I mean, sick, sick. There's, there's one more, one more. <laughs> I'll take anybody. No, but I'm thinking in a wide, wide range. Is that? Go on. Mm. Man's got him, bro. All this questioning three hours later, <laughs> man. <got> <laughs> because I don't like to be put in the spotlight. Because right. there's too many. Right. <clears throat> there's too many. You, you don't want to give me the last one. But since we nearly get to it, like I said, it could change. Alright, go on, go on, go on. Um, <clears throat> uh, who could I think of? That? I'm thinking. Oh my gosh. But it's not that hard, bro. Come on, man. Hmm? It's hard. It you is know hard. How many artists know. They are? You get torn. Isn't it? All right, who are you? Who are you torn against? There's too many. Alright, cool. Let's just do four, bro. Prince, no princes. See, Whitney's Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder, boom, he said it, I didn't. Five done. Bro, an absolute legend, my brother for life. It's an honor. UK Apache, yeah, love and respect. Shizio, we out.